to get the surgery done. Because uh, oh. I tell you what, you wouldn't. Yeah, I'm like, I'll be like the Hulk when it comes to being hungry. <laughs> you don't like me when I'm hungry. So it's helped a lot, and so I'm very happy about that. I'm right there with you. But knees are feeling better. Backs, well, it's it's better, but it's not worse. That's for sure. But I had to work on my core now to help help my back stick straight. Come on. Okay, well, we could probably kick it off. Yep. We're Give me just a second. I'm having to fix the... Uh... You've worked it? Yeah, did the whole Streamlabs crashed on me. Of course. Doesn't sound like it's a, that reliable of a product. It is. It's something with my system. Mm. And most of the time, I don't have any issues with it. But recently, uh, it's just during the just during the uh, Armageddon game. That's all. It's a crisis every time it's on my game. <laughs> I did. I put the new stream link into the stream chat. Yeah. Okay. You know, that'd be really cool if, it, if Discord like not put a little indicator on what channel had something happen, happen in. It does. Oh, really? Because I don't. I'm, I'm not seeing them. Oh wait. Just figured out what it was. I think. Yeah, well, you know. Yeah, I mean, it bolds it bolds the channel and puts a little white dot off to the left of it. Uh huh. That's what I just figured out. Is you know, I'm so focused on Discord. All right. Well, when you're ready, we shall commence. Uh, let's see. Commence to commencing. All right. I think we're. I think we're. Good. Alrighty. Okay. Well, um, I guess uh, y'all decided to wait, over, uh, stay overnight, because everybody had us just, just a wonderful hangover and such. And so, or, or, you know, nobody was in any condition to go anywhere, and also it's dangerous at night. I was saying, they sure um, didn't drink much. Yeah. The, uh, the locals that do actually live around here, um, Oh, did so, say that don't don't go out before dawn. So that's what happened to Cal. It was the vodka. That's right. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Got some of that high octane shit, did you? That's right. Only the good stuff. With the glow in the dark label. It's perfect for me. Very good. Okay. All right. So anyhow, um, I think it was Leroy. I think was was just telling you telling you yeah yelp. Better not uh, go outside the gates out uh, before uh, before dawn. He said the murder lurkers are going to get you. The what? He said the murder lurkers. That's some. He says, well, um, I think, or we, I've been told, um, those are the humans that were in the shelters. And stuff that uh, never came uh, up above ground, and now just live below ground everywhere. So, like in the sewers and the um, uh, the train tunnels, and you know, and caves and stuff like that. And they don't come out at night or day. Sorry, Blah. I'm still twunk. Hey, it's so any easy. Of them, any of them own coyotes? Hmm? Uh, no. No, they, uh, they're they pretty carnivorous, though. Uh, I've seen them attack each other, even. So, um... How sentient are they? He's asking, I, he's asking if they got yeah, brains. Well, yeah, yeah, I know. Um, I know that much, at least. I mean, I made it to, what, fourth grade? Because that's all the grades they have here. Um, but, uh, well, they're clever. I'm not sure that they, I don't know, they might be sentient or sapient or whatever those words are. But uh, they don't read, obviously. 
Um, they don't cook their food. So, I, it's hard to say. They're very bestial, but, you know, I've seen them use tools. But, you know, mostly it was just a pipe to beat the hell out of somebody with, but still. But, yeah, um... Yeah, so yeah, Myrtle Lurkers. Um, they're all short and hunched over. And they got like uh, white skin and big black eyes. They look like rats. Their eyes look like rat, rat eyes. Uh huh. Some of them got skin. Some of them got hair and some of them don't. But... What was that movie from the Before Times? Something about ROUSs? You mean Princess Bride? Yes. This is more Chud, if you remember that one. But uh, I digress. Um, are they out at night? Yeah, I saw we were behind the balls at night. <laughs> yeah, I imagine the sun. They don't. They don't do so well in the brightness. Eh? No. Fair no. mole people. Yeah, you might say so. Yeah. Yeah, well, they get that scent of blood, though. They're they're all over you, so, so don't get hurt either. We'll watch out. Anything else out there wanting to kill us? Well, other than the the daylight predators, yeah, you know they're. I know there's uh, I said I know there's um, uh, mire lurks in the can the river. You have to watch out for those. Um, Only everything. And, uh, there's uh, also in the sewers and in the, in, in the ruins are uh, red roaches. Oh yay, giant roaches! Yeah. Oh, and boom bugs too. Oh. They're easy to spot though. They're bright red. Easy to spot. Just don't run over one with your vehicle. Nah, it's better to get They're those with a bullet. Named. Aptly named. All right. Um, that's all I can think of, really. Um, but uh, luckily, uh, Leroy, he's one of the security guys here at the the uh, outpost. The, gate, the perimeter outpost uh, outside of uh, KC. So he, um, him and his friend tried to start a fight last night, and apparently they got became fast friends with uh, Ivan, who is uh, currently um, behind the uh, the uh, command van, knocked out. You know that he's not dead because he is snoring very loudly. Because <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't moved a muscle. It's it, it's the water. Yeah, the little fire water, yeah. It gets you every time. Yeah, I wonder what's going to happen to Ivan, too, because he had some of that glow in the dark label of vodka. Well, I know. Probably burned through a few RPs. That's for sure. Anyhow, um, so uh, Don is coming uh, pretty soon, probably about an hour or so. Okay. I'll get up that early or just wait till it's just straight up daylight. I'll get up at dawn. Okay. Yeah, we should probably prep for our next steps. That might be a good idea. As you can tell, I'm kind of doing it. Freedon, Freedon soaring. All right. Circling in the camp. Stretch the wings. Very good. Well, incidentally, um, where is my... Okay, of course. Okay, 
they're flying. Oh, I think he's flying. If everyone could uh, roll on oh. the. Uh, Hold on, let me open my character sheet. Well, it's actually um, in the chat. For a no, roll. it's uh, you click it and you don't have a character selected, so it doesn't roll. Mm -hmm. All right. Gee whiz, Batman. Okay. Uh, there's a uh, blind vision. Yeah. yeah, blind vision roll. Well, everybody's all bright-eyed and bushy-tailed this morning. <laughs> Okay, um, to the east and somewhat north, um, you can see uh, what appears to be a, a large dust plume rising from the horizon. Harvey found it quite easily just because he's airborne. Everyone else had a minus and still made it, which shocks me, but nonetheless. All right. Giant dust cloud. Like, yeah, well, dust plume, yeah. Does it look like uh, what we encountered before, storm? Or does it look like uh, maybe coming up from a point in the ground? It's coming up from a point in the ground, and it appears to be coming this direction, but it, it's probably you know, a good 20 miles out. But because of the size of it, it's fairly easy to see. We don't have any, like, radios or anything with each other, right? Harvey's unless, Jesse, unless, I think. unless you'll have one or have some that been passed out. I don't know. I can't remember if there was any uh, radios in the um, those uh, kits that y'all got from the underground base. Uh, I thought that there was. Uh, if there was, it's not on my character sheet. Um, although... The reflex tax suits might have built-in radios. Maybe they're they're pretty nifty suits of armor. Mm -hmm. well, let me see. see. Oh, no, that's the wrong box. I mean, worst case scenario, you can just fly down, right? So, yeah, drop a rock with a note on it, you know, anything, right? If we still got 20 minutes or whatever that we've said about it, whatever. Oh, I said 20 it miles does, out. Does not say that tax suits come with radios. Yeah, and I cannot remember. I'm gonna have to look at. Uh, I think we put everything on the trader truck for now, unless it got moved. I will flutter on down and land near the party, and just on the off chance they didn't see it, I will point out the dust cloud and go, well, that doesn't seem ominous. Yeah, we haven't moved anything over to the truck yet, the uh, new vehicle. No. Okay. Well. I can go check it out if you guys need me to. Well, I'd be careful. Yeah, we, we should probably fire up the vehicle just in case we need to run out there and help. Just in case something goes bad. Uh, are there any guards at the parapets or the towers? Well, are they used to something like this, or is this unusual? Um, well, this is definitely a new occurrence. The uh, the uh, guys on top of the uh, the, the bus um, gate, yeah, it's, it's just like you know, road warrior. Um, they seem to be a bit concerned. Okay, but but they're not entirely concerned because that. Dust Plume is on the other side of KC from them, and their thinking is anything that tries to drive through KC is going to get chewed up some before it gets to them. 
so... Huh. Oh, crap. So it's on the other side of KC? Um, from there? From where we're at, yeah. Hmm, good question. Um, if anybody has uh, area knowledge, KC sector? Uh, or... Or area knowledge, you know, Lone Star sector, but at a minus two. All right, minus two. Okay, see, you lived there. Oh, well, there you go. Perfect. Okay, Harvey. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Harvey knows that uh, to the north, uh, to the east northeast, is uh, Dogtown. And even further beyond that, of course, is, uh, and, and actually more north from there is Chai Town, which is the uh, human, which is the capital of the human sector. Not going there. And Dogtown, of course, is on the border of the human sector. Because, you know, the humans don't like their nasty mutant dog soldiers, you know, messing up the scenery. But, you know, they're expendable. So they keep making more dog soldiers. So this well, could actually, be like actually they're a kind military of column approaching the city or something. Yeah, even. yeah they actually, you know, and, and, and honestly, um, the backstory on Dogtown and, and all the dog soldiers and the canine regiment is, is that, uh, yeah, breeding got out of hand. And so, yeah, it's not just... You know, German Shepherd looking soldiers now. Now you've got some that look like Chihuahuas and just it's it's a dog pound. <laughs> but a heavily armed and hostile, aggressive dog dog pound. Boy. Yeah. So is K C still got buildings and I mean it's Oh yeah. Yeah, there's right? there are high rises and stuff, yeah. Yeah, I mean saying that might be good purchase for Harvey to mm-hmm. Watch yeah, there there are a few, um, of you know closer to downtown. So yeah, you could definitely, you know, do that. Um, being that it y'all are at least you know I'd say ten miles out from downtown, if you know because everything else has been blown to shit. So the suburbs are well, well, they're not. Um, you could probably if you. Flew close enough, you could probably identify some of the uh, buildings, you know, and uh, understand that some of them are maybe have markings or flags on them designating, you know, certain gang territories and whatnot. And if you maybe even if you look close enough, you might see um, gang members patrolling on the ground or otherwise. Yeah, I was just thinking if there was a really tall, uh, tall building with a spire or the native planet. Sphere on top of it or something like that. that cool. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You guys have any optics of any kind? I do. Yeah. Yes, y'all do. Somebody does. Yep, I got you the new. Spare. I got the new scope. Do you have an extra yeah. set of optics? I could borrow it and fly up somewhere and see if I get a good angle on them. See if I could identify what it is. Oh, yeah. Well, no, like I said, there on the the dust plume, you can see it only because it it's reaching the uh, you know the thermal layer. Um, things are warm on the ground; it's rising, and it hits that thermal layer at the top where the air is colder, and it won't go any higher. You know, like smoke sometimes does. So, if it's the, I don't know if you guys know this. Anybody got? Uh, Anything related to the military, science, tactics, um, observation, uh, soldier, any, any of that? Nope. And then I would say um, roll checking. that at uh, Andrathir's, what you would be. Uh, no, I don't need reaction tables. Wrong button. Of course, it helps if you push the right button. Let's see. No, I don't think I've got anything. Nothing like that. Okay, well, you can always do the de default here, so might help. 
That's if you're flying up there to go get, look at it. This also means, oh. you know, that, okay, you know, because observations is the act of uh, not being seen while you're spying. Yeah, so I, I didn't need to roll it. So I ignore my roll. Yeah, but on this roll, you can uh, make a roll to maybe understand a little bit more about traveling as a soldier. Okay. Just Harvey, Harvey, or I wasn't sure what you meant by that one. Well, you you also anyone can actually make this roll. Okay. Because every everybody that saw this dust cloud or has been pointed out to it, yeah. So I'm sure that the folks that didn't see it were always over there. So what's the roll? Uh, it's in the, in the chat, soldier. Oh sure. Look at okay. You. You're doing all doing all our work for us. Nice. Yeah, yeah. You better appreciate it too. <laughs> Okay. All right. So between you, uh, well, with Harvey up up top looking, and uh, luckily since you're uh, the uh, uh, apparent subject matter expert on the ground, um, do you understand that vehicles uh, traveling on a dusty road uh, would definitely, uh, you know, leave a smoke plume, and of course the more vehicles, more dust, and this is obviously a huge convoy because you can see it for 20 miles out. But the wind, the wind is dead calm, so it's probably just going straight up. No. And it's headed into KC, or it's coming more towards us, or is there a difference? Well, it, since y'all are in the KC area, yeah, it's heading toward y'all. But okay. I'm not specifically. <laughs> okay. General. I'm scared. General direction. Got it. Mm -hmm. You said it's about 20 minutes out. Is is a, is there a three miles? 20 miles. Oh, okay. I know there's some the letters that match, but it's still miles. <laughs> well, if they're going if they're going 60 miles an hour, it'd be the same. So, um, how close do they need to get for us to get a sense of the kinds of vehicles or the people driving them? Actually, well, optic, probably five miles. What what I can do is uh, I'll uh, we got a high spot where they can point out the plume to me, right? And I can pull out my rifle and take a look through my uh, enhanced targeting scope. Because mm -hmm. um, it's got it's got an eight by vision. Plus, I've got my three levels of telescopic vision, so that's okay. in effect eleven, you know, times eleven vision. So, why don't I have level fourteen awareness yet? What a loser. So, yeah, I can take a look through my scope and see what I see. I don't know if you need any kind of die roll or what you need for that. Scott? Uh, type some real quick. Oh, okay. I could spell. That's the problem. My fingers are doing whatever the fuck they want to do. And there we are. So, I mean, yeah, you could try to get to a high point. Sure. <laughs> oh, let's see. Uh, I guess I thought of that now. Okay. <laughs> 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 I was like, God damn, guys, I'm giving you all kinds of clues and stuff. Right, all right. <laughs> I mean, all these wonderful toys and nobody's using them. So, you know, as I'm getting ready to head up there, I'll end up going, wait a minute. That truck has a thing on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you remember, it's got a big, huge thing on it. It's not I'm, just for catching flies. I'm going to go down there and push some buttons. All right. <laughs> this thing have like a recon drone or a giant observation turret or something it's well it, it's got this um like big huge mesh dish on it that spins around when it's on, when it's being when it's turned on and um and then inside sometimes you hear beeping and stuff and see see other things on a couple of screens that are in, well, I guess they're screens, um, displays, 
not anyone knows what a display is, but anyway, the moving pictures thing. And so, yeah, I mean, da, da, there is some stuff. Just a little bit of LiDAR, no big deal. So, yeah, I, I go use the truck. Yeah, it's an active, it's an active uh, millimeter wave radar with uh, a, a long range, or long range, I believe. Oof. Depends on the type, different ranges, different uses, but yeah, they're pretty cool. That would do it. All right, I go push the buttons. All right. Uh, sorry. Okay. And let's see if we can get this plugged in. Enter. Okay, there's the default. All right. So, uh, basically, there are four crew stations in the vehicle, um, plus there are uh, the driver station and the navigator station. So uh, any any one or any one of those positions, well, the navigator and the two and the four crew positions can't be used. So we could do five folks in there. Wait a minute. It should have been a minus three, not a minus five. Because I have electronics repair. Mm. You have electronics repair surveillance? Yeah. You just had generic electronics. Uh, it's just generic. It's not specialized. That there wasn't a specialization to pick when I was. Well, either way, um, you missed it by five. I missed it by two. I know it's. Well, I guess you did. But yeah, I mean, you might want to specialize. Okay, I'll have to think about that then. Yeah. What are the what are the stations? Um, well, there's four different stations. Um, they're they're basically crew stations. They have you know you know like a bucket seat, uh, captain steer in it, kind of. So yeah, you can buckle up, go for a smoother ride instead of being tossed around in the cargo area. Uh, of course, there's the uh, you know navigator station, which you know is on the right side of the driver of course the driver station on the left because uh, it's an American made vehicle and of course there's the commander station which I didn't mention but it's in the center behind the driver and the navigator there are a total okay. of seven cr crew positions plus two more if you add uh, do the fold down jump seats in the back okay but, but those aren't crew stations they're just you know ride along stations Anyhow, um, okay. So let's say you may, let's say you do manage to get it operational. Okay, it's it got it turned on. Yay! You're gonna okay. Put a skill point toward that. On electronics operations, it says surveillance, but you know my thinking is should be radar. <laughs> okay. So, because surveillance kind of falls into that gray area of you know bugs and you know special microphones and such so anyhow so yeah uh, you've got it operational goody on you um, now to interpret the uh, the stuff that's another step that's gonna be because, because it's got this little thing going around and round and round on this on the on the green screen mm-hmm well and uh, an eops what the hell's an eops electronic operations sensors okay yeah there you go that would work too and yeah that would have been at minus four anyhow okay no problem yeah my mistake I should have chose sensors <laughs> which in either case so let me um... that uh, information analysis yeah we can do that or you can not that I have anything for it but you know yeah or you can try that one okay Close that, there. that was not going to do it that would be a no I accidentally, turned it, I accidentally turned it back off I think you screwed up the settings luckily someone else can operate it from another crew station because everything's you know redundant 
because right. it's a military vehicle. And it appears to be that uh, Carter figured it out. And Harvey has flown down to uh, aid everybody, and he's figured it out. So I think the problem lies with the operator, according to what I'm seeing here. No, it's the it's the machine. <laughs> okay. Yeah, well. It's the interfa Harvey. interface reminded me of a, an old... Uh, <laughs> old Old piece of electronics I worked with back so, in the day. The, the instructions aren't in Texican. Mm, that could be it, too. Yeah. Anyhow, so, yeah, um, there are, um, I'd say, uh, the analysis is that the, there are at least three heav heavy armored vehicles, four uh, light armored vehicles, and numerous... Um, uh, what amount to be uh, infantry or soldiers? That smells like that scene off of Mad Max. That that where they had all the cars charging in. Some yeah, people on foot. Do but do they have a battle bard? <laughs> What's that? A disc jockey with a with a fucking pistol? <laughs> Guy with a guitar you strap on the front of your truck. Oh, okay. One of those. Yeah, I know. That guy, yeah. I that love that guy. Yeah, punched out, though, too. That was the best. All right, so we got quite a crowd we coming it. in. We can take them. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, but you also realize, though, so also on that screen, as uh, Harvey noticed with his, uh, his keen role, too, um... There is so much ground clutter between you and them that it will probably take them more than an hour to get across town if they don't encounter any resistance. Okay. And there are also multiple bogeys in town, both on the ground, from what you can tell, and uh, some that are... Uh, Definitely air mobile. Uh, Weren't you guys saying something about there being a weapon of mass destruction that the Empire of Man was looking to collect here in town? No, not not in town. We we're going to get the information on it here. And apparently, they found out where the information is too. Would be my logical leap. Okay. But but I'm not playing here, so. <laughs> that is the logical leap Harvey is making, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's we gotta, we gotta we gotta beat him to it. I think so. Yeah. Seems Go. like a race. Mm -hmm. I'm cool with that. Okay. Vehicle, or I mean, we're gonna have to we we'll have to take something that's faster than running. So mm -hmm. we'll have to take the truck. Yeah, definitely gonna be taking the truck. Contrary to some people's belief, that's a bad idea. Oh wait, All that right. guy's not here. <laughs> Um, well, uh, we don't have a minute to lose, so let's fire mm -hmm. the thing up and, and get on the road. Mm -hmm. All right. You're now, driving, Cal. If you, if you remember, y'all were supposed to link up with Stilgak and his his uh, gang of uh, bloody talons. Right. And uh, if you remember correctly, uh, most of those guys are avian mutants. Oh, Harvey, you could go and take care of that while we... Move the truck. If you'd yeah, like. Harvey, well, well, you can fly fast, yeah? And, um, um, maybe not, not as not as fast as most cars, but I fly pretty fast. Yeah, I and think, I, what, 10 I, yards I, per second is 10 yards per second is 10 miles 20 per miles hour. per hour. Yeah. 20 miles per hour? Yeah. yeah, so yeah, yeah. A yard is two miles per hour. Yeah. Yard per second, two miles per hour. Hey Scott, um, how, how do you spell how do you spell still jack? Still jack? No, still gack. Well, it depends on I guess it depends on how you say it, but S T I S T I L, gack, G A G A K, gack. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah, he's uh, um, I don't even know if y'all know his reputation, but uh, apparently he's the leader. Mom. If yeah. Harvey knows if Harvey knows KC and Harvey's a baby, I imagine he probably knows something. Yeah. 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 
Yeah, he knows a little bit about the bloody talons. They're very anti-human. Um, but uh, they... You might uh, be able to convince them to go by their appearance on an invading human army pretty easily. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they would require probably a council of, of kings or something like that, you know. Are we there yet? So, anyhow. <laughs> so, I guess we'll do the first thing. And... Um, Harvey, I guess you're flying to where you're supposed to link up with the Bloody Talons? I guess so. Okay. Well, on your way there, of course, you're obviously intercepted by uh, another a uh, mutant hawk by the name of Dakota. Um, I don't have arms to wave a white flag, but I can probably uh, TK grab one and wave it around. Yeah, from like a you know, f half a mile or you know, 500 feet up. Sure. Okay. Anyway, he calls out to you while he's circling because like, he can fly faster than you. Mm -hmm. uh, he says, uh, you're Harvey, right? Without the lint, without the arms? Yeah, I think I know about you. You've been expecting... Yeah. Great. It's good to be expected. Uh-huh. Yeah. It easier. It does. It does. Okay. Well, follow me, he says. And so we'll go to that. Okay, so you'll get to the you'll get to one of the buildings um that are nearby or in in not nearby. In, in Central KC, and I'm going to drag you on to the scene. And does Dakota does Dakota have arms? He does. Yeah, Harvey's one of the weird ones, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Dakota um, is is a uh, hawk, if you will. Um, he is uh, he's mutated. Armed and armed. Quite literally. Um, <laughs> let's see what I can do about. I'm gonna drag everyone else onto the scene just so you can be here. Yep. And, uh, let's see. So, so you're not actually there, there, but I just want you to, you know, at least enjoy the yep. show. That's appreciated. I mean, yeah. somebody's got to witness Harvey's death. Yeah, maybe. Spray his face with some silver paint. And shout, witness me. All right, we're activating the scene. So, this is actually like 30 floors up. So, one of the taller high rises. Um, this floor, of course, is um, mostly empty because it never got well. It never got rented out, or uh, it got stripped of everything. <laughs> so, and of course, uh, y'all should be. I see everybody's in. Is this the course, roof? This is this is um, not the roof. It's probably maybe about it's the thirtieth floor of maybe a forty-story building. Okay, and there's a, there's more stores above it. Stories above it, yeah. Yes, there are, and below too. That's helpful. And, to, and just in case these guys are paranoid, Harvey is unarmed, as usual. Literally, yes. <laughs> unarmed and visually defenseless. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, Stilgak is over here, um, not facing you for some weird, strange reason, I don't know why, but he's sitting in his, uh, his uh, uh, rec reclaimed um, captain's chair from some vehicle long ago, he's using it as basically a throne, and he's got a desk, he's got a couple of, uh, of bodyguards there, um, they're owls, you can actually mouse over the tokens and look at them. Mm -hmm. And of course, there are some other security dudes hanging out too. Very stern looking hawks. And uh, makes sense that the raven, that the corporate is in charge, though. Mm -hmm. And uh, also in the room is a very foul smelling. Um, and he's actually by the barbecue pit. Uh, appears to be a a buzzard of some sort. 
Yeah, and he's the one cooking. <laughs> and Scott, you put us on here. You no put us on here. You put us on here so we can see, right? We're not. Yeah. The rest of us aren't up there, right? Yeah, unless y'all hauled ass through town to get to the garage and took the elevators up. I think that's our where we're going if we no one yeah. wants to know where he's at. Okay, well, it's easy to follow. Um, and actually, um, there should have been 12, uh, like, uh, radios, you know, in in that set of gear. Because each, each kit uh, it was kitted out for a, 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 a platoon of 12 soldiers plus one commander. So. All right. Well, I'm going to assume we each have one else. Yeah, let's go ahead and figure that for now. Um, I'll, up, get, I'll get the stats later and, and, drag, and make it an item and give everybody one. Anyway, <clears throat> so um, obviously still Gax says, well, you finally made it. Fire troubles. Sorry about that. Yeah. yeah, I see. And you brought the stuff. Car troubles. Huh. Some fool decided to put a landmine in the middle of the road. And, uh. There went the car. Right. Okay. Well. That's not good. Seems like you can't, can't accomplish a simple task. Uh, given to you, uh, given to you and your friend, and uh, come back safely. Don't understand. Yeah. Everyone else I got the come back safely home. part. Did you know? Yeah, I'm here. Mm -hmm. hmm. I do apologize for the uh, any cost this may have caused you. No, you're going to have to make it up, though. Oh, that makes sense. It's mighty reasonable of you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, it seems that some of my, uh, some of my uh, uh, observation posts have detected uh, some humans heading our way. So I think we're uh, in uh, more need of... Uh, of bullets and such as opposed to uh, medicine now so this is what it's going to cost you it's gonna, you need to um, provide us for 10,000 bullets for our weapons 10,000 bullets mm -hmm. we're going to have to fight a um, war it looks like scavenging is my game might take me a hot second but I can come up with some bullets all right. Yeah, if you don't, well, we'll find you. We'll kill you. That's how it goes. And this was going, being such, and this was such a friendly meeting up until now. Well, it still is. Very professional and friendly meeting. Just provide what you're tasked to provide. And you'll survive. Because after all, we don't want Bautista cooking you up. Like he could, if he tried. Well, he cooks up a good Himalayan rabbit. I'm sure he yeah, could. Rabbits are slow and bound to the earth. Yeah, the ones he finds certainly are slow. Just out of curiosity, though, um, what sort of plans do you have for that little convoy coming in from the north, seeing as they're going to be here inside of, I don't know, 20 minutes? Well, first got to get through uh, Green Fang's territory. And that's going to take them a better part of a day, because, you know, well, those guys are real fond of their traps and and uh, ambushes, so they, they'll keep them busy for a better part of a day at least, if not at all. all. And, well, if I, my uh, my reconnaissance is correct, which I'm, uh, it's con composed of mostly those stupid-ass dogs. 
No, not too um, quick, you know. quick side point. Who are the people that we're trying to go meet who have information on that weapon? Archangel. Yeah, Archangel. And which, uh, which group was he a part of again? I think he's his own group. Yeah. His own group? Yeah. Yeah, the Baxter and Archangel is that that person used to be a part of the Green Fangs, but uh, was only uh, in their gang because they provided technical assistance. It's an asset. Um, out of curiosity, still, Gak, uh, do you have any information on the whereabouts of one Archangel? Rumor is he's got some extra munitions I might liberate him of. Um, as I understand, um, Archangel had set up shop in, uh, the University District, uh, which is uh, just outside of Green Fang's territory uh, next to the river. Okay. That's helpful. Um... you don't have any further business for me, I think I have some uh, parenting to do. That is probably true. The um, probably best way to get there uh, would be uh, to go along the uh, uh, roads leading to the, uh, along the river to that district. It's not that far from here, but it's easier to get to if uh, you can travel along the river. Okay. Yeah, the place they call it the the gates of Zion. Uh, some sort of hocus pocus about you know there being angels guarding it and such. I don't know. That is an interesting rumor. Yeah, even the nobody goes there. Not even the green things. Most of them hard ass motherfuckers. Excuse me. I thought you were oh. laughing. <laughs> That's funny. Um, I mean, Silk Act doesn't have anything else he wants to demand of me. I'll no. fly off and meet up with the truck. Okay. Well, they uh, just happen to be pulling up uh, downstairs, according to according to my man uh, downstairs. <laughs> that, that sounds a little totally stupid. <laughs> Anyhow, um, so yeah, um, just take the stairs or the stairs, the elevator, your choice. Or you can fly. Meet Stairs are slow. You can meet your walk, team down walk, there. Walk to a balcony or open window and just jump out. <clears throat> yeah, most most of the yeah, all this all this stuff on the side here is is uh, op open. You know, of course, you know, minus the the uh, supports and all. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you can pretty much just take a flying leap. Float on down, meet up with the group. All right. Regurgitate information to them. Just like University a mama bird. Just, just, like, just a, like a mama just bird. Like, just mm. like a mama bird. Exactly. All right. Uh, we get on by, take Harvey into the top hatch, and uh, head on down the road by the river. All right. In a van, in a van down by the road, by the road. Ah, here, under the 
seen. These archers are gonna have some good tactical shit now. Okay. <laughs> and everybody should be filing in here shortly. Can I? Can we unpause so I can rotate my token? No, nope, sorry, we're not going to do that. You're stuck now. <laughs> sorry, totally forgot about that. Somebody used to see it, and I did, just don't see it anymore. Okay, That's so. A mech. Where? Down in the parking lot to the south. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, that's a mech. Truck out in front there. There's uh, some burning vehicles. A couple of. Ass end of a plane. Yeah. Wrecked vehicles. This bridge here is is collapsed partly into the water, so that's why it goes in the water and stops. That rusty thing on the right. Yeah, tail, the okay. plane. Yeah. yeah. Looks like it might have been one of them Lear jets that crashed. That got shot down or crashed. Who knows? You know, executives trying to leave and all. Like people are like, oh no, you don't. <laughs> oh, Boeing. Yeah. It's probably a Gulf Stream. So is this water? The green stuff? Yeah. Yeah, you could call it. it, it, it it's like water. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, um, definitely you can't wash your clothes with it, though. Yeah. But not, yeah. not deep, right? Because apparently we're driving through it. Or is that... Well, the vehicle has a swim capability. Yep. So you could actually, you know, swim the vehicle there. It's all obviously slower, but yeah. All right, yeah, we should move, uh, get out of the water and over here to the road so we can move a little quicker. Okay, I think everybody has ownership of the vehicle. Yep, I figured Cal's driving. Yeah, yep. he, he needs to drive. Okay, looks like everybody's still mounted. All right, well, that's, uh, just... <laughs> There. Any any movement? Um. <coughs> why? Uh, <coughs> not exactly. <coughs> but um, you s do see two uh, very shiny statues on top of the building um, over here and on the other corner. Okay. And they're obviously angels, from your observation. Are they motion? Or are they looking like gargoyles, just shiny gargoyles? They're they're motionless. Uh, okay. Wait a minute. Right, well, yep. Wait a minute. I'm looking at this here. And this here. See how that damage looks on the road? Yeah. I don't see anything down here that looks like that, but you got some pretty big holes in the parking lot. Yeah, and there's this whole chain going right up to the tank. Right, that's that's what I was talking about, the chain going up to the tank and the chain along the road in front of the tank. Those were the two that had me a little concerned going... Uh, we might want to be careful how close we're getting. Well, but or or the holes show where the bombs have already gone off, so they're safe. Could be. Um, but if you give me a second, I'll pop up out of the turret real quick and take a look through the scope and take a closer look at those uh, statues on top of the uh, building. That's a great idea. We come to a stop and I idle. 
All right. Well, I pop out of the hatch and plot the scope with the rifle, of course. Mm -hmm. But, you know, just take a look at, at them, you know, trying to get a better better idea of what exactly we're looking at. Okay. Uh, perception, vision, range. And this one is uh, minus seven. Okay. So let's see. Of course, you know, with uh, the scope, that uh, cuts down on the modifiers. Yep, yep, I'm doing the math right now. All right. So let's see. That'll be, is it my seven currently? But then I've got the three. And then that's a uh, plus three to aim shots. That's basically what I'm doing is taking a close look at it. So it puts me at a perception of minus one. All right, take your roll. Jeez. Hell, yeah, shit roll, but you got it. Okay. Um, so what you can tell, uh, definitely metallic, uh, shiny. Um, it does have wings. Um, it appears to be robotic. Okay. That's what I was looking for. Yeah. So, hey, uh, Cal. I think those things are... Uh, Robots. And they're, armed. and they're armed. Oh, and they've got arms. And arms? Yeah. Arms and arms? Armed and armed, yes. No halos or harps, though. Now, when you say they're armed, are we talking they've got guns, or, or what are we what are we talking? Yeah. Um, incidentally. <laughs> um... I mean, yeah, are, it, are these are. say are these the, the the laser beam sphinxes from the never ending story, you know? No, not quite, but it could be bad. Um, you remember uh, 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 Gaia? Yeah. From the first mission. Yep. Okay, you may or may not remember her personal weapon. Oh yes, I do. Okay, um, I'm not sure if you your character will remember it or not, but maybe he does. Because uh, he did have some gun envy. Yeah, cause, uh, she's got the she's got the rail. She had the rail gun sniper. Yeah. Um, see, I see. I remember. Because <laughs> yes, I'll say right, I want one of those. Yeah. Well, uh, it appears that uh, the uh, statue is armed with uh, that uh, model. Oh, hey, Cal. Looks like the angel's got my. Looks like that angel's got my gun. What? We better get it back. Yeah, just heads um, up that that I, I've seen what that gun can do. Yeah, it it'll put a hole through our tank. Well, do we want to take a more stealthy route? I don't suppose Harvey wants to take to the sky with that thing. So, uh, I wouldn't recommend it because Harvey. Um, I mean, the things can fly. Plus, they've got really nasty sniper rifle. Um, I take a look at the other one as well, Scott. Okay. Obviously, the range is a little bit greater. Yep, yep, yep. I'm doing a... Okay. Scrolling out to do the measurement. Alrighty. So it's down the other corner. Mm -hmm. Alright. Yeah, it's a... It's a 8 by scope, so that still puts it out of minus 1. Well, lucky you. Let's hope nothing gets in your eye when you roll, huh? <laughs> well, I know. Very good. In fact, uh, yeah, apparently cleaning the lens helps a little. <laughs> uh, identically uh, uh, identical. The, the the other one is identical in every way. Okay. Same gun, everything. Uh-huh. All right. So we got two of them with sniper rifles. Yeah, and front, frontal assault doesn't seem like that's such a wise idea. Um I no. wonder if we can parlay with them in some way. Hmm. Um, or the other option is to stealth our way closer anyway. I'm not sure how we would stealth our way without... I mean, we'd have to get out of the vehicle to be able to stealth over there. Yeah, probably. 
Uh, so I'm sorry, uh, it's a big open parking lot. There's no way we're going to hide this thing. What about this, this entrance this, to the building? No. There's a bunch of steps up, stone steps up towards a, uh, a lot of concrete blocks sitting out here. Well, yeah, so, I mean, the place has been obviously get hit or attacked, and so some of it's in ruins. Uh, well, actually, a lot of it's in ruins. Um, so there's previous that. Attempts to, previous attempts to pass by the gates. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because that's kind of what it looks like, doesn't it? Gates, how about that? Good observation. Goody for you. So, yeah, there's that. And, um, of course, you know, there is also there is some cover, uh, or concealment, I should say. Uh, there's uh, the hedgerow uh, around the building. It's uh, a little bit out of control. So, And, of course, there's the... Uh, um, what used to be saplings, yeah, now are like really old trees, but not growing so well because the soil is contaminated. So they're doing well as well as as well as can be for a tree that's you know tapped into contaminated soil. Okay. We're, uh, we're finding Archangel because he has information that we want. Do we have anything he wants, or does he know about us? Or I don't. Remember. No, no, he doesn't know about us. Well. He, that you know of. Right. I, we have not sent them a message that we're coming or anything like that because they didn't have a way to contact them. We were just told to go find Archangel to get this information. <coughs> oh. It seems like you might have to make your case. Yeah, I, I think uh, we, I'll drive the uh, truck. And hang on. You get on, the, you get on the roof and put your hands up. I got... I got... I got... <laughs> <laughs> Because that worked out so well for these, for these guys. The, the jokes are going to keep coming. Um, uh, I have a thought here. Um, I'm gonna need that. I'm gonna I'm gonna need the help from the from the other two guys. Um, but I want to try taking a look at our radar mm-hmm. and see what it picks up in this area. Okay. We'll what do you guys think of that? At the terminal? Yeah. Yep, see what it. comes up? Three stations. All right, let me go find Three the... By four. Okay. Um, that's uh, an interesting roll. Um, for a brief second, you catch uh, both of these, uh, both of the angels on the radar, and then they, di- th- then they disappear. Oh. We still have visual on them or no? Oh yeah, you've got visual. Ah. It's it's raspberry flavored. Well, do they disappear or does the radar lose? Uh... Yeah, you still have visual. Is the radar jammed completely, or is it just lose track of the targets? Hmm. That be. Everything another electronics roll to determine whether it's being jammed or not. Another very good roll. It's a, the default's at minus four. So you made it. Um, the uh, radar is active. So it appears to be some sort of... Uh, it's probably some sort of... Uh, multi-spectral camouflage of some sort. Right. Uh, only, only in a, in the uh, the uh, uh, was it ultra low frequency bands. So they have some form of radar stealth. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah. Just not a high enough tech level to have, cam- uh, you know, cam- camouflage like uh, predators. Sorry. See, I'm afraid he gets there. Last Mankind time. only made it to nine. All right. Well, there's combat and there's con- communication. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I prefer the communication option. All right. So, uh, you know, we gotta show them we're no. Uh, oh. We're no danger to them. Only with a 50 cal on your truck. That's all. Oh, I don't know if this is gonna work. We've got the radio on the uh, on the truck. Mm-hmm. Um. I'll hop on it and go. Yeah. Uh. 
I mean, this is this is a, a chance at hell, guys. Uh, I could be revealing position, but uh, I'm, gonna assume, I'm gonna assume from their position they can see this tank coming out of the water. Yeah, but uh, I want to get on the radio and say, uh, we we don't mean no harm here. We, we're just here to. We need to have a conversation with uh with Mr. Archangel, Miss Archangel. They stand motionless, and you do not hear anything. You roll with the radio, right? Radio? Yeah, yeah, the ham radio. Oh, okay. not not the ham radio, but our our radio. Yeah. What yeah. about the good one? <laughs> yeah, don't we have a speaker? Don't we have a, a PA system? I mean. Well, it wasn't designed into the vehicle, but didn't y'all put one in back in Dallas? Mm. Or on the duff tub? Don't think we put yeah. a speaker system in. Well, y'all might need we, Did we not? We either had one before or we didn't have one before. I forget what the result was. Well, originally equipped, it did not have one because it's not a cop vehicle where you need to okay. address crowds. Right. It's supposed to. It's designed to hide. <laughs> so... Um, all right, so no information on there. All uh, right. Uh, everybody that's on the truck that's, uh, well, everybody that's inside the truck needs to make a hearing roll at minus five. Anybody that's outside the truck can make a hearing roll at only minus two. Well, technically, I'm inside the truck because I just finished doing the radio thing, so. Okay. Yep. Everyone else is, anyone else outside the vehicle? But I'm good. I don't know how you manage that. Okay. Well, you hear a splashing. Perception of 17 helps. Very good. And you still fail. That's all right. Okay, so Harvey didn't hear it. Cor Carter didn't hear it. <laughs> and the guy the guy in the truck trying to use the radio hears it. I don't okay. Know. All the crap going on, you know. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm at the wheel, so I didn't hear it. Let's see if the lizard hears it. We left the bear and the dog behind you. Yeah. Um, yeah, because they were uh, still at the outpost. Okay. Um, I, unbelievably, um, I don't know why you hear it, but you hear the sound of splashing or pouring water. Okay, from... Do I get a direction? Yes, from underneath the bridge. Underneath the bridge. Okay. I am going to pop my head up out of the hatch and let's take a look in the direction of the sound. I'll, and I'll just go, hey guys, I'm hearing something. There, there's, I look out. We'll take a look. There's water. Look out the dri driver's side window. Okay. Um, well, from your angle, probably can't see it because, well, you're too high up and too far forward. Okay, that's what I figured. Yeah. It's definitely coming from under the bridge. I can probably hop can... out the back of the truck and take a okay. look from behind the cover. All right. I'm guessing it's one of those things we were warned about, yeah? Maybe. I'm, I'm prepared to move the vehicle forward slowly. I've got my rifle ready. What the heck? Alright, well, I'm, I'm gonna dismount everybody. Okay. At least try to. I'm gonna say, I'm, I'm gonna have my rifle ready up there on top of the truck, just uh, aiming in the general direction of the sound. Okay. Alright, so from this point, from when you're down here by the bank here, uh, you're definitely out of sight uh, from the uh, statues. Because it, it slopes heavily. And so. Yeah, the you only had like a, a you had like a, maybe a wheel deflate when you were at, with the truck parked where it is now. Okay. If you back it further into the water, then you'll have to exit out the top hatch. Otherwise, it'll flood because opening the back hatch is no bueno. Right. But it would also have the truck. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, if if you swam the truck under the uh, under the bridge, you probably could fit. Okay. Do I see anything under the bridge? Uh, let's see. 
Not from your <laughs> angle. Yeah. Um, you see a, a, a sewer pipe sticking out from the uh, ground underneath the, uh, or from the bank as it slopes down from underneath the bridge deck. Oh. Ah. Okay. All right. Or at least a I big will. I will flutter my way over there at just over the water surface. Mm-hmm. Nape of the water. <laughs> that really just seven yards away? What? Uh, all right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 20 yards? Okay. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's, it's a little bit of a walk. You know, 60 some odd feet at least, or swim. Yeah, I, I, I didn't manage to get that piece of the map put together, but it would be, uh, the entrance would be basically directly underneath the, uh, okay. Um, uh, uh, let me put this way. It is in the left, uh, third from the left lane. Oh, uh, and I Underneath. see, I see the manhole has a, you can click it. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to click it because I'm nowhere near it, what? but. There's a manhole? Oh, I was checking something on the map. I was trying to get a gauge on that pipe. Oh, okay. You know, basically. Just going. Harvey's just going for it. Yeah, you want some backup, yeah. Harvey? I've made a perception roll. I'm hoping the GM will tell me if I see anything. Otherwise, I'm just going to oh, leave yeah. my way forward. Sorry, I was still deep in the other part. Okay, so yeah, you you make it there, um, and you can see definitely that it is a uh, a sewer pipe with uh, good night, baby. A, uh, Sleep well. Metal grate over it, so it's it's uh, pouring out kind of nasty water, but then you know it's just runoff from wherever um, say metal great uh, we metal great we can deal with yeah yeah um is it locked or built in it's kind of built in so there would be some cutting involved hey cal yeah, we'll i look. assume this is a, a side quest we want to do here i mean I, we have we are under a clock so but well, the angels in this building, you know, give me the idea that we might find Archangel here. Yeah, maybe this goes in through the back door. Yep. All right, I'm curious. Let's go. Um, so, Cal, hang on. Wait, don't don't run off, Cal. All right. <laughs> I need you to drive. <laughs> oh, you want to pull the want me pull the van in there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, well, let's... While they're moving the truck around, I'm going to see if I can rip this grate off with telekinesis. Okay. Right, then uh, I guess the immortal words uh, be good. of uh, old D&D masters of old, roll your bin bars check. <laughs> nice. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm very old school. It's uh, uh, strength, I have a strength 11 PK uh-huh. grab. Okay. So here's my skill check first to Thanks. make it go. All right, you're, uh, you're grabbing. No, no such luck. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna join him. Is there anything past the grate that looks like it might be a lever or a chain or a button or something? No, this was built by uh, cheap ass Democrats, so they didn't have any frills or any that kind of thing. I'm gonna. So, uh, well, it's well, just uh, well, it's well, a metal grate. Um, it's 500 years rusted. <laughs> At least, well, let's put a chain on it and use the truck. Well, I say, well, I was say, hang on, you know, since you know, you said you were going to join them, so you know, I'm pic- sitting here picturing this as Ignacio going, all right. Well, while these two guys are just sitting there staring at it, because <laughs> um, <laughs> real hard, <laughs> you can feel the tension in the air. Um, I'm gonna grab one of the mono wire talons to just cut through the damn thing. Well, there you go. I was wondering when y'all figured that out. Okay. Um, easy to hit, obviously. Just roll damage. Okay. Uh, I don't have a damage for the monowire talons because they're just in storage. Oh, never made them a weapon, eh? No. Okay. Um, 
me see if I have something for you. What are you pulling out, Chris? Um, so, in my previous adventure, I've had to fight against mechanical spiders, and they're, they they had legs that had talons on them, and they were monowire talons. Oh, okay. Yeah, monowire edged. That is the ultra tech stuff. Well, with that said, um, the Duro probably could probably cut through some bars. But how are you going to hold on to the mono wire talon? What do you think? Carefully. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Wait a second. What? Denduro has a katana. Yes. And if I, and if I remember correctly, it is a mono wire katana. Yep. Right through it. But Dendura hadn't made it the game yet, so that's why I wasn't. That's that's uh, okay. <coughs> I, can, we can, I can loan it to you. Cool. Paid attention to him. That'll work. So let's see if we can get this here. Oh, yeah, it's, it's probably a, it's the only a thing that cold. makes it It's a, it's a little cold, so Dendura is probably a little sluggish. <laughs> gonna... Yeah, we gotta tell him. <laughs> yeah, don't get him in the cold water, right? I'm just gonna. All right, guys, y'all watch out. I whip this thing out. Somebody's getting hurt. It gets too cold, he'll fall out of a tree like in Miami. Yeah, yeah, it go on up the brain. Okay, well, all right, before you swing. Yep. And, and start doing more stuff, I would like to grab another cup of coffee before it turns off. Okay. Give me five. Yeah, I'm, I've been really enjoying this tonight, guys. I feel like we've been having a pretty solid balance between the, the three of us on a spotlight and, and, and having the, the opportunities to do different things. This has been good. Yeah, absolutely. I, I feel like uh, we're not talking over each other and giving, yeah, giving some time. I, I, uh, I am interested in pulling off a couple of my new psionic tricks. So oh, I figured. Looking, looking for some opportunities for that. But But I really didn't want to piss off those angels. No, it's a good good plan. Yeah, you know, hopefully, uh, hopefully, hopefully this gets us in through the back door. Yeah, and I'm glad that the G GM didn't call me out on being overly cautious. Because <laughs> then I would have, because <laughs> then I would have had to roll the overconfident. Oh yeah. I, yeah. I, I I remember I got the curious, so I, I had to go into the sewer pipe. Dinduro. Hey, sorry I'm late, guys. Thank you. Hey, there he is. So I've got your katana. Oh man! Yeah, you perfect, perfect timing. We we just now needed you. And, and I just finished warning the guys that I went. Uh, they need to be careful because when I whip this out, somebody's getting hurt. Because I have zero skill. <laughs> yeah, maybe you let somebody who knows what they're doing hold yeah. that. Yeah, my 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 skill level with it is like an eight. Just let the telekinetic hold it out away from them, and then even if they miss, it's beyond their swinging range. Go hit them. Yeah. But, uh, no, we're, we're getting ready to cut through a steel grate. Okay. And I had mono wire talons, but then they brought up the fact that you had the mono wire uh, katana, so that way we didn't have to go and try to make the talons into a weapon. That's fair. Yeah. So basically, got uh, use the katana stats as the talon. Yeah. Well, that totally works. But it, I was just it, thinking it, about this. So, Harvey, what do you think of this idea? This is an out-of-character concept, but it is because my character likes to tinker with things. Thinking about your character, you know, your crow. So, you you got the crow feet, right? I do. Which means you've got the spurs on the back of your legs. Are you trying to put them in a cockfight? Uh, uh, oh. No, uh, Har Harvey doesn't have... Crow feet. He has humanoid feet. Ah, uh, mammalian feet. Oh, uh, okay. He, he okay. has a crow. He has a crow beak, but he doesn't have. Uh, gotcha. I was saying, yeah, if you, he's, he, like that. If yeah, you had he's the crow from the waist up. 
Well, say so if, yeah. if you had the if you had the crow feet, I was gonna go. Oh, I need to get some leather. And I'm gonna design something to be able to strap these talons to the back of your legs, and you can use them as weapons. I mean, I have the dropping skill. If you just want to let me hold them, I can drop them on people. True. True. Uh, oh yeah, we can give you like some spikes that you could hold. And then, uh, drop them but time. hey, while you were gone, uh, we had a Dindora show up. Oh sweet! Hello. Yep. Thank you for okay. your uh, patience. I appreciate. It. Oh yeah. Well, we hadn't gotten too far. So we're gonna let him. We got themselves killed yet? So we're gonna let him cut through the grate since my skill level is only at an eight. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, because you suck at katanas. <laughs> disadvantage all right well welcome to the game uh let me know you, you're not quite logged in yet um uh, you... yeah i i it says i'm on the foundry virtual tabletop but it is uh yep there you are okay okay yeah perfect yep there he is and we got a full party we can party okay all right well um, all right well put, uh, it. go ahead and everybody put yourselves in, in uh, a combat mode so we can uh, do that too because uh you know actions have reactions and such okay hold on we gotta move ourselves where we're close to where we're actually at first okay because i mean we're under okay. the bridge i guess we should come up with some kind of marching order mm-hmm. why can't i move i don't know why can't you Oh, because I'm measuring. Because I'm because I'm measuring. That's why. Yeah, and you just gave yourself a range penalty of minus seven. Now more. <laughs> okay, so we're hey, the, where's the, the truck over where's, there. where's the truck going? Dude, did you forget to take, put the parking brake on? I thought yeah. I shrank it, shrank it, and put it in my pocket, but I don't have that power yet. Mm, it would be an interesting power. Didn't see that in the science book. So no, give, to, yeah, there's no mention of pin particles anywhere that I'm aware of. To give yeah. Dendora just kind of an update on what we're dealing with, just a, a real fast mm-hmm. recap. So we're actually underneath this okay, truck still moving. This ruined bridge. Oh, it's moving with me. Um, yeah, it's linked what? with Dendora. How do I? Oh, yeah, how do I? Is it control? I don't know why. Oh, oh I see. We bring the new guy. We bring the new guy in, and he steals our truck. I know, yeah. rough, dude. Here, I'll see if I can put it back. Um, I don't think anybody's in it. No, it's... the four of us are on the bridge. Okay. And then we're next. Oh. I I read the synopsis that a uh, Carter's here or that Rob sent me. So. Okay. Yeah. I'm just gonna put the truck off to the side here because that's kind of where we park. Okay, because I'm like, what the hell's it doing? And lock it down. Right. Okay. So, yeah, you better pull the parking brake on that one, yeah. Yeah, we walk away and we go, boop, boop. There we go. You well, know, I mean, with uh, someone with good electronics oper- uh, repair security, they could probably put a system in there. So how wide is this pipe? Uh, it appears to be about 48 inches across. It's a four, standard four-foot concrete uh, sewer pipe. All right, so going to be crawling. Oh, this is crawling. Oh, wow. Well, We're certainly stoop, stooping. Yeah, it'll be stooping for me. Some of you are smaller than any even, I think. Or I know that some characters in this world are. So, yeah. Right. It, Who wants to go uh, first? Well, the good news is um, the. Uh, uh, liquid coming out of the pipe is does appear to be just uh, rain runoff. Yeah, that's yeah. good. Nice. So yeah, you'll be able to rinse off from the goo in the river. Excellent. All right, I got myself in combat mode. Alrighty. Oh, in well, we're, in, we're in combat mode. Yeah, just making sure everybody's uh, doing their thing. The, uh, what's the keybind to dismount myself from the? Uh... Uh, N. But N? Oh. Yeah, you have yourself high selected. And you should be able to hit N. And I work with that combat because the truck is not part of it. Alright, obviously, it work? obviously Dendora was up near the grate because he just carved it up, right? Yeah, I 
Well, yeah, it's the roll damage. That's stuff that Scott was asking us to do. You, you probably because you got to the bolt. truck for some reason. That is, yeah, I'm trying to well, press in. It's not um, it's not working. I can roll damage real quick. Uh, hold on. You know what? Let me drag a, another U on here that's not connected to the truck. How about that? Let's do that. Uh, cool. I appreciate it. Thank you. Do you yeah. want the? Uh, you want me to roll swing or thrust? He said we. He said we just had to roll damage. Yeah. Roll the bigger of the two. Yeah. So the net, of course, divides everything by ten. Okay. Um, you're lucky the thing's rusted, because uh, yeah, he definitely cut through the uh, the uh, several of the bars um, in one stroke. Um, so, but uh, when you test them, they seem to be pretty brittle, especially now that they're not. Don't have the. Uh, you've got leverage to be able to pull them up or break them off. Okay. So, um, you could do that, or you continue can continue to cut um, the remainder of the bars out, so that way the whole thing falls in, and you have an actual four foot wide uh, diameter uh, passage, as oh. opposed to just squeezing through the bars. Try, do we want to be able to try and like reseal it on our way out, or do we care? We've got no idea what we're facing, but you know we've got the truck here, so uh, push comes to shove. If we're actually trying to escape out of there, we jump in the truck and drive off. Run to the truck and, yeah, I I agree. Um, I'll just cut the rest of them off. Uh, I'll take okay. uh, all out attack strong for a uh, damage bonus. Uh, do, you right. have, do we have any explosives? I imagine we could blow what's left of the supports of the bridge, and that would close Blasted. off the. <laughs> Do we have explosives? <laughs> the, 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 Ignatio just starts giggling when you ask, "Do we have explosives?" Always a good sign. Well, yeah, if we were worried about closing the entrance after we leave, that would be a way to do it. I've got toothpaste. I'm sure that I'm sure that I'm sure that makes them all feel comfortable. They ask about explosives. I go, I got toothpaste. Okay. Well, um, the uh, uh, entrance is disbarred. I was wanted to say that. <laughs> um, okay. Don't die on uh, me, man. So this is a uh, like you said, crouch height or like. Um, like four feet or something like that. Yeah, it uh, the uh, pipe is uh, four foot diameter. Okay. I've got um, I have low fighting for my uh, katana okay. skill, so um, I'll go first. Uh, katana in one hand. Hang, hang on, hang on, just a second. Yeah, sure. Um, tactical telescope. It actually has the uh, infrared and the the night vision on it, right? Yeah. Yeah, it was a uh, multi-spectral or hyperspectral. Yeah, uh, and I made sure, to, and we got batteries, so um, I want to flip it over to night vision real quick and look inside that sewer pipe mm -hmm. b before we go in it. Oh yeah, okay. Harvey will Harvey will flip on his awareness so I can see supernaturally. I've got um, infravision as well uh, through my YouTube template, so. Okay, so three ways from Sunray away, uh, Sunday, we are going to scan the pipe. All right. Well, I'm not going to bother rolling because, like I said, you have all got it covered, uh, even supernaturally, which is a little surprising, nonetheless. Uh, so you can tell um, that uh, the uh, pipe um, goes... By your estimation, um, just a little bit past the uh, main entrance of the uh, uh, the public library, a, okay. the gates of Zion. Uh, All right. Beyond that, it's uh, dark. And, well, no, it's not dark. You have infrared. It's collapsed and it's cold. There's nothing warm in there. Uh, okay. But there is runoff coming out of uh, you know from like the sewer drains and stuff like that in here. Okay. All right. That tells me where we're going to be coming out at. Oh. So, yeah, you're going to come out right there in front of, you know, of the library. Oh. <laughs> so those, uh, those panels that we had spoken about, are we expecting uh, expecting a meeting with them soon? N uh, no. 
No, in this case, it would be a, a good solid no because the uh, pipe is sealed off at the far end and it was sealed until y'all showed up at the other, your end. Oh, okay. So, yeah, no need to worry about that. All right. But, you know, it is mid-afternoon now, so. Yeah. I can take point. Um, so, yeah, I'll be <laughs> down. Um, probably okay. have the, uh, probably just keep my machine pistol in hand. Uh, I don't think I really, it doesn't sound like I would necessarily have the room to swing the katana, so I give it the way more than I wanted to. Um, All right. And then I also have a vibration sense, so, uh, whatever, for reference. Okay. All right. You know, staying then, aware, basically, as I proceed down. Okay. So then what you'll need to do is uh, move your token to um, just north of the manhole cover in front of uh, the gates. We need to uh, put him on the combat round. Is he not? He's not. There, there he is. Uh, he is now. Mind. Yep. There we go. Uh, so just north of the manhole cover? Yeah. There you are. You're in initiative. Good deal. Manhole's down here. Yeah, right. Uh, a little further, past the truck, which could provide excellent cover despite the holes in it. The curious statement. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I see. It. Almost oh. there. Yeah, there he is. It's a really nice map. Well, thank you. All right, I will follow suit. I made it using Gabriel Picard's uh, map products. Well, I mean, he's okay. the best one for modern day stuff that we've got that we've managed by so far. He does well. Uh, he has a limited amount of modern day stuff. I just make it work. Uh, yeah, he has an ass ton of uh, fantasy stuff. And yeah, if you want, Chris, I can share it with you if you're interested in making your own maps and such. Sure. I mean, I I use the Dungeon Fantasy or the Dungeon Alchemist for a lot of my maps. But I mean. You know me, I'd, I'd use whatever tool I can use for a map to yeah. get me whatever it is yeah. I'm looking for. Yeah, I use these tiles in conjunction with a map tool because then I just lay them on as, uh, as uh, you know, objects or whatever you know, on the background, and they just click together with with the set settings set correctly and all. All right, so real quick, okay. guys. Hold on. Oh, God, he opened the manhole. No, I opened it. I closed oh. it. Close it. Close oh. it. Close it. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, from what I observed um, through my scope, looking at those two robots, um, and I saw where this manhole was, we're going to be popping out right in front of the entrance of this building. It's going to put us in perfect range of both those robots, which means you pop out, you're going to want to hoof it to the east very quickly so that you can get out of their line of sight. Are we to uh, assume that they're hostile? I'm assuming they are. Um, I have some smoke grenades. Do we think the, um... I don't I think... think... Does, this tunnel, does this tunnel dead end here, or does it branch any, or anything? No, it, it's, uh, it's, uh, collapsed about another four or five yards beyond the manhole cover. Okay. Yeah, well, you know, no maintenance at all. So... I can get, I can um, get over, I can get over there really fast if I go first. We can, if um, uh, Harvey flips over to the collapsed portion and deep scans with awareness, can I tell how deep it is? I hadn't thought of it, but uh, there's probably a possibility. Yeah, I, I need to. I need to understand the nature of that uh, power a little deep, more. Deep scan lets me penetrate obstacles up to like a foot of thickness in order uh -huh. to see what's beyond out to my awareness's range. So if it's more than a foot thick of uh, rubble in any particular spot, then it will continue to block my scan. Okay. Well, um, at the very top, you know, you'd have to crawl up on the rubble. At the very top, you could get through and see beyond. But, you know, we're talking like a mailbox size hole. Or, you know, a hole to view uh, as opposed to an actual hole. Can I, can I get up there and see through it? Well, like I just said, he's able to scan through it because there's probably just only a, a few bits of uh, rubble that uh, obscure that that, uh, that are blocking the way. Yep. Which 
makes it completely sealed, but because of the, the thickness of the seal, if you will, uh, he can see through that portion and notices that it does go to further along to, um, oh, well, I have to measure this now. Well, yeah. I only have 10 feet, I only have 10 feet of okay. awareness, so I can only right. scan, sorry, 10 yards of awareness, I can only scan 10 yards out. Definitely beyond that then. Yeah. Um, you could probably guesstimate that it does intersect at the uh, next street intersection um, further south, which is not on the map. Um, is uh, there... How much rubble is there? Do I think that it would take a reasonable amount of time to clear the tunnel, or would it take forever? You can, It could probably be done. Like I said, there's a couple of pieces that are, you know, big, but they're they're but why it's, it's, it's reinforced concrete and you just would have to you know cut the the uh the reinforcing you know the rebar and then shove it out of the way yeah my my only question here is why would we be trying to go off map um was not the intent it was just well, in case there was a way further down to bypass this direct front entrance that is obviously guarded by people with rail guns um, and wanted to explore that possibility. Yeah, that's fair. Can you, um, with your telekinesis, uh, Harvey, do you have to be within direct line of sight or could it be within your detect range or maybe we could try and form some type of distraction? Uh, can, yeah. can you remotely telekinesis? Um, I can tell Kines anything I can see, which includes anything I can see with my awareness. Okay. Um, <clears throat> maybe, uh, can your awareness detect the robots from here? I think we might be more than 10 yards. I'm not sure. It's, <laughs> yeah. Definitely. I cannot see them. Oh, man. I cannot see them from here. That's fine. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, well, let me think. Do we all want to try and come up through and just burst out through the sewer entrance? Or there was that collapsed... Do, we saw the like tilt turned over truck and stuff in front, right? Maybe we should have some guys posted up behind there, and then. Um, um, well, that's still to to get there. You still got past the the angels out of sight, so that's yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah. Oh, Pop yeah. up, yeah, run straight east. Are, are we're we're aware of this angel that's in, sitting in the entrance or no? Uh, you shouldn't be, but it's only because um, I didn't hide it. Check. All right. I think um, I think we know they're there, but they might not necessarily be where they are on the map. They're like yeah. they're somewhere around that um, area. Your, just, your smoke just, grenade I, is it? I hit it. <laughs> is it a high tech smoke grenade or is it a normal smoke grenade? Like, is it going to block it's radar, thermographic vision, stuff like that? If it's IR yeah, it's screening, just a, it's just visual only. Um, yeah, visual no, only. You, yeah, These you got the cheap X7 one, so they probably <laughs> yeah. have some sort of like extra sensory yeah. stuff going on. They probably got thermographic at the least, so, I would say. All right. Well, guys, I think we've got ourselves a plan. Of course, this is Ignatio with his overconfidence. So so let's pop the hatch and run. Oh, I'm with you. I'm 100% overconfident, too. Um, okay, you, guys. How big is this manhole? Is this like a like regular like, manhole cover? Yeah. Is so, it like uh, one of the New York ones where it's like huge? Uh, well, it's a KC one. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Can I, uh, sling? Mostly I'm asking I... if this could be, like, some sort of, like... Well, I guess if they have rail guns, it would probably just punch through it anyway. It might not be worth okay. it. Hold on. Let me find out for you, because, I mean... I want to see if I can sling this uh, manhole cover towards the library and cause them to maybe waste some rounds on it. Oh, you might get us some surprise. Yeah. Um, yeah. They can't be surprised. Well, let's, let's prep everything we need to prep before we throw the cover off, so... Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. So are we? What's what is our plan? Someone's going to throw the cover. Is that telekinesis? You're going to telekinetic the cover. It's a three foot yeah. uh, uh, manhole cover. Okay, so pretty big pretty, one. So somebody's going to throw it east. And yeah, then you, we're, it'd be telekinesis. Yeah. And then mm -hmm. we're then Duro's running first, and then who? Me, Ar RV, Carvey can fly. And Ignacio coming up the rear? Yeah, I guess Ignacio will pull up the rear. Okay. Uh, Scott, before we go, I want to do my photo refraction. Okay. Which gives me sort of a predator kind of invisibility. All right. 
and uh, it does uh, go thermal. It does oh. do infravision. So okay. Um, well, if they um, got other, if, if they got like sonar and stuff, it doesn't do that because it's just light. But um, does uh anybody happen to have any explosive grenades on them? Uh, what do you want to do with my grenades? Uh, mine are only smoke at the moment, but, um, it could be, if I rush them from here, I might be able to, uh, okay. launch, you know, throw a grenade at them on my way in, maybe soften them up a little bit before I get within, uh, katana range. Well, the problem with my grenades is I, I can't guarantee the, uh, I can't guarantee how fast they'll explode. Oh, they've got like a very... They, 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 they might explode while they're in your hand. Or they might explode after you throw them. You know, I'll pass. Because they're pipe bombs. Oh, okay, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> I'll pass. <laughs> well, yeah. we know how well pipe bombs worked on Terminators. <laughs> true. Just the one. I'll just hold the. I'll just have my uh, katana in one hand, submachine gun in the other, um, and then yeah, uh, we'll run at them. Uh, well, you have cool factor going for you at least. Trying to, yeah, I've got ambidexterity, so I might as well try and use it. I and, would hope so. And Scott, I'm doing a little predator thing, so I've got minus five to be seen and minus oh. five to be attacked for one minute. Well, okay, I uh, set a, uh, a stealth uh, status on you. Or refraction ability from from planet powers. Yeah, yeah, I went. Uh, I went. Go ahead. It, uh, that's got a two yard radius. Um, everybody within two yards gets those bonuses. Yep, and I can actually try to crank it up, but I, I didn't do it this time. Okay. Yeah. But it's... The, did, if, if, if you guys want to try that plan, we can... But, quick question. Does that does that only... Does that effect only last on you as long as you are within two yards of him? Or do you yeah, get the effect? Yeah. Okay. No, we'd have, we'd have to stay together, because I'm warping it around me. Yeah, yeah, then... That's cool. That's still pretty good, though. I mean, we could, um, I can move it. If I get to really hoof it, I can move eight or move nine in a straight line. So, um, you know, as long as it lets us close those couple of yards, that okay. gets shot up. All right. Well, let's consider some other things that are also obstacles. All this rubble, this brickwork and stuff is here. Definitely will, is, would be quote unquote difficult terrain. So your movement points are, are, uh, halved. Right. Halved. Yep. Pretty good. So it takes them two to move one. However, if you run around the corners, it's also a possibility too. Yeah, there's some clear. There's a clear path on the right, oh. or clearer. Anyway. Yeah, I see that. So maybe we head down, and then um, we can use the pillars for cover and try to wrap around them. Um, yeah, well, my, my just so you guys know, when I pop out but, here, my plans. To teleport behind them. But we we got we, we got we got to make ourselves we got to keep in mind that we don't know about this angel here. Yeah, we don't. We know that there's something around that area, but we don't know that if they're they could be in a different spot. I'm, yeah. I'm hoping that. Um, well, what I'm saying is that we know about the angels that are on the corners of the buildings, but nowhere in our uh, spotting of stuff did did that one show up oh okay so yeah. so we're not a, we're not even aware that thing is there okay mm -hmm. so, we're, we just so we're we're just gonna book it right i uh harvey can fly over those bricks i've yeah. got acrobatics um and a decent strength score i could probably um can probably jump okay. over and work my way around it all right so uh who's jumping first uh I probably our guy with the obscure effect right well, I think t I think uh, Harvey was going to TK the manhole lid, right? Yep. That's how we're coming out, yeah. Okay, so yep, Harvey is doing the manhole lid first. I will pick so that, that sucker up and start moving it forward. I will rotate it so that it's like a shield. Okay. Oh, nice. Smart. So, uh, All right. Are, are we in Are we in turn based everything now or? Yeah. I'm just okay. Trying to click the stupid thing turn it off but you know okay so let me go i'm gonna pop this out and go to this okay tk grab is successful he's gonna do the tk toss now let me um 
reveal. I'm not like throwing it as per the throwing skill. I'm just floating it. Okay, so you're making cover out of it. All right, that's right. Yeah. Okay, so basically it's a shield. Okay. Um, in that case, you will need, if you don't have it already. Hmm. And Harvey's first in the initiative, so that makes sense. Well, I moved him because he oh, backed I first. See. Got it. All right. Okay, so there you go. Oh, not supposed to be from the angle three, but uh, there's your uh, shield default roll. Okay. So if you're uh, using it to block and whatnot, um, nice. I guess. Um, if it's blocking. Yeah, it, since it's uh, three feet wide, it counts as like a heavy shield, so that's a DB of two. So add that to your dodges or whatever, too. Okay, and uh, you're above ground. Where did Janor go? I'm here. Well, I mean, your token. <laughs> He's right there, yeah. Just south of us. Is he? Yeah. No, I know. Never mind. <laughs> I was still looking from the uh, uh, the angle's point of view, and it can't see you at that point right there. <laughs> ah, I mean, hopefully it can't see me because I'm underground. Well, the um, ground, but yeah, when you uh, pop up, um, yeah. Yeah, I um, will, it, well, yeah, we need to I move will, it. I will wait until Pandora goes because he was going to go first. Okay. Wait. All right, so pick you're up the, pick up the thing, float it forward, and then that's probably my okay. whole turn. Are you floating it in front of you, or are you floating it in front of Dandoro and it pops up? Um, I'm floating it forward um, a couple of yards, so Dandoro can use it as cover if he wants to, okay. or he cannot use it as cover if he wants to. I okay. uh, prefer not being shot, so I will be okay. using it as cover. Um, do I have All a drawing right. tool? I was going to Okay, so, it, so Jinduro is going to be next then. All right, that's, I'm going to move you up in the thing. All right, and yeah, we're going to begin combat. All right, so there you are. Lizard man. Yep. Uh, move into position. Uh, can we ping where the shield is? Right, yeah, I go. think, yeah. yeah. Uh, Jane or oh, hook, keep, keep you set up there. Okay, cool. Okay. So uh, I'll move out into position behind the shield. I assume, mm -hmm. do I spend any extra movement to come up the ladder? Um, no, I'm going to assume that you are at the top of the ladder and are, are ready to sprint, giving you yeah. a benefit of the doubt. Okay. Um, so do you really see, yeah. Well, uh, from your position, you can not You can just see uh, a wingtip and maybe a weapon. Uh, to the left of the column, uh, to your, uh... My golf. So I can see, okay, yeah. Um, but based on its <laughs> its position, you kind of think it may not see you, because it hasn't reacted yet. Okay, that's good. Um, so if that's the case, uh... Hmm. You know... Uh, no reason to rush it. I'll take a step, get into cover behind the shield, and then um, I'll ready in action to aim um, if it walks out like a... Well, I, could I use an aim action on it from here? Well, I mean, you could do that for, like, the wingtip or the weapon. Um, yeah, I want to... Other, otherwise, you do the action where uh, you watch a hex. Yeah. Um, and... And if anything occurs in that hex, then you can blast it. I'll aim at the weapon. Okay. All right. Um. Whenever I get up here, I'll whisper down. Uh, I'll whisper down that they haven't reacted. Uh, well, that, might as well say it in character. I don't think they've noticed us yet. Okay. All right. So you're standing by. Yep. All right. Let's go to the next one. All right, I think I got Harvey still next, or is Ignacio going? Uh, Ignacio will be going, because my turn was concentrating on telekinesis. Okay. Uh, Ignacio just sent that he'd be back soon. What the hell? Am I gone? The timing. Two minutes ago, for a bio break, that should be plenty. 
Oh, he's got it. Is he dropping a deuce? <laughs> You're up. Oh, all right. Um, so, Ignacio, uh, I whispered down into the manhole that I don't think they've seen us yet. I only have eyes on one. Um, all right. Oh, uh, okay. Combat tracker still shows me this Dendora's turn. That's weird. Oh, it's because sorry, I, didn't, uh, I got it. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, and uh, adjust the combat order because y'all are like, "Oh, I'm gonna go first. No, he's gonna go first. They're like my two grandsons. <laughs> so I, I, I never changed mine. I, 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 I just I got moved. followed. Moved, you know, based based on the conversation, I was trying to help. You know, well now I'm talking about it. it's taking longer. So, All right. so um, um, out of the manual. when you when you whispered down, so they haven't seen us yet. Uh, do you give us a, an idea that there's one up there and what direction they are? Um, I Within the one second like time frame, uh, yeah, I just whisper. I see one. They don't seem like they've noticed us yet. Okay. Um, otherwise, yeah, they're just uh, kind of in the same area. So you could probably see from the manhole the direction I'm facing. So. All right, I'll pop out of the manhole first. All right, so Did you hear Janor say that he had a shield for us? Yep, yep. Okay. All right, so... So I see that there. It's facing that way. Is this thing moving? What? This angel. Did it move? Yeah. You don't know. Okay. This is the first time y'all seen it. Alright. Well, it's weird for it to just be sitting there pointed at a wall. Maybe it did move. It may still be scanning. Who knows? Um, Alright. I know he's got the shield over there for you. Yep. Mm -hmm. But we're probably going to be better off heading down here okay. and then up and through. Okay. Um. Yeah. Uh, do you want me to follow with you or attempt to flank? Uh, let's do the follow with, but uh, I'm gonna have to move a little bit because I gotta make space for the guys to be able to get out of the manhole. Yep. Um. Oh boy, I don't want to stand still this long sitting sitting here. Where to go? <laughs> Sorry, that was not intentional. <laughs> I was gonna say because that's an awful long sprint. <laughs> I thought it was just, saying he was going to teleport. Just measuring some distance. All right. Mm -hmm. I've, I've slid myself slightly out of the way. Hopefully I can still make use of the quote-unquote makeshift shield. Um, yeah, sort of. I mean, I assume he'll be moving it with so, us. Uh, otherwise, otherwise, I'd just go ahead. And, <laughs> well, I mean, how fast can you move that shield around? Um, I think so. Can you look like... 10 yards, right? Or, so, I don't, if you don't have he any can grab, um, okay. Once you grab something, you can pick it up and move it with move equal to your TK grab level. So I can move it at 11 yards per second. Okay. okay. All right. Cool. I, I, I think it'll probably be more about you ducking behind it than it blocking something. Yeah. 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 No, I get that. I was just trying to get a gauge on whether or not I'm going to outrun the thing or not. I will not be outrunning it. Um, because I too much crap. <laughs> so too many too many just, even even if I had a nun on my encumbrance, I still wouldn't be able to keep up with that. Um, so weasel All right. Okay. Harvey is up. All right. I will fly out of the pothole. Um. Now that I have the shield, oh look, there's an angel there. Um, me and my shield will fly. We were planning um, on going this way. This way? Yeah. Me that, and my well, shield. That way your people with feet um, that they can't fly aren't going to be trying to climb over, all over those cinder blocks. Me and my shield will fly to there. Okay. Yep, and you cannot directly observe the the angel. Well, there there um, went. <laughs> and neither can it. 
Observe Harvey, you. Harvey, Looks what's good. your flight? What's your fly speed? Uh, twelve. Nice. So well, then there, there went our shield. That's all right. Um, I mean, I can, I can, I can leave the shield with them because I've got the post as cover, so, so that's mm-hmm. fine. I'll leave the shield with them. Okay. Um, can I get a makeshift token for my shield? Or is that too much to ask? <laughs> yeah, hold on. Let me see what I can do here. Man, Scott, I don't know about these guys. They're awfully needy. Yeah, no, I know. Could we pull maybe... Um, That's a joke. The item? No, you're... you're... Let's see if I can do... Let me do something different. Fine. No, that is definitely not going to work. Let me see what else I can come up with. Hold on. I normally carry keep uh, shields as tokens in here. So, hmm. Yeah, I can't just go in and grab some of mine anymore because, you know, the way the foundry works. Yeah. Uh, what the hell was that? Did that, did that, did that we just did, did like... Um, Well, this might work. Yeah, you can't do a drawing because the drawing you can't move it. Well, mm-hmm. I was gonna say, what if you took one of the item tokens, like the adventure rope or the armored shades or something, and just drag and drop it on the map? But I'm not sure. I haven't played with items a whole lot, so. Yeah. I'm just trying to figure out if I can make this usable by you guys. Do do do. Well, I mean, I got a bicycle tire. It's kind of close. There you go. You'll have to tell me tell me where to put it. Okay. Um. Yeah. So yeah, it's like it's about where it is. Maybe maybe a tiny smidge north, but yeah, that's fine. Okay. That's good enough. Alrighty then. Okay. Now you just gotta click in turn on your combat order. There we go. Okay. All right. I'm going to I'm going to pop my head out and I'm um, scanning the area and I see a couch in my line of sight where Harvey went. And I'm going to prepare to teleport to that next turn. Probably behind it actually. All right. You're going to go where? Uh, what do you do to have the pen? Oh, right? oh, that that couch. I see. I see. Yep, right behind that sucker. There you go. What do you? How do you ping? Long press. Long, long press. Mm-hmm. Oh, perfect. Yep, there we go. Angle gets to go. Mm-hmm. Oh, you can see that, huh? It's in the track. All right. Well, it only showed up right when it became its turn. Yeah, that figures. Pretty cool. Uh-huh. What the fuck? Yay, it's lost! No, no, it's not that. It's a, I'm trying to get that stupid uh, the window for my uh, trying to find a thing for y'all to play with. The, it's really, really small. It's, it's got my gun. He keeps The GM keeps teasing me with his guns and, not, and leaving it where I'm staring on I am not going to be able to get that. <laughs> not without possibly getting a party member killed. Or myself. Yeah, you know, I've been teasing you. <laughs> yeah, now there's three of them on the board. Ah. I am going to be out in the open. Uh, yeah, Chris, is... you, you, scared, you, scared, you scared me on this one. I'm a little worried for us. 
hey, at least I didn't do the, you know, go ahead and shoot the robot on top of the building. I was going to TK crush it to death from a um, quarter mile away. You know, that would have been cool. At the same time, I'm not entirely certain that would have worked. Okay, Harvey, Harvey, Harvey is Jane R. Oh, uh, let's see. What the world? Okay, there's your manhole cover. Oh, hey. Yeah, I was working very hard to get that for you. Thank you. Appreciate it. So, um, make it a little bigger, though. Yeah, all these guys are a whole lot faster than I am. I've got a move of five. If I, I, only move that, I only move that fast because I fly. If I want to, if I want to risk burning all my fatigue and winding <laughs> up some somewhere random, I could go a um, hundred miles. Jeez, That's pretty good. But it, it definitely that helps if I've fun. seen or visited the place. All right. Harvey, do you have a you have advanced move? Or enhanced move, I should say. To who? Harvey. Harvey. Yeah. What about right. Well, I, I asked if you had enhanced move. I'm trying to read it right now because I have it. Um, I have a half level of it. And I thought yeah. that... I thought that it took a turn to accelerate to your full move, but as I'm reading it in basic set, I'm not seeing that portion, so I don't know if this is like a... That's like it's like an optional rule some people use, I think. It's not something that's in the basic band. Oh, like, that's, like a, that's not a good. Modifier or, or limit of some kind. Yeah. That's okay. not good. Denduro. Okay, Den it okay. sees you. Denduro. Okay. And it will be a hit, looks like. Yep. Unless you dodge or something okay. like that. Yep. Uh, what so, do you get some? What do you get some cover plus, defense bonus from my? Yeah, yeah. It's the defense cover. bonus, the two from the. Um, so I will take the, uh, Yeah, I will dodge. I'm also going to attempt an acrobatic dodge. Okay. So That'll be interesting. Al that. Also, are you within two yards of uh, Carter? That's a good question. Because that's so he has a negative five to hit you. Uh, yeah, I believe so. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I, yep. I'm def Yep. Hold on, that may be a change then. Yeah. Sorry, let me go back to the stupid good. thing here and delete it. Okay. Well, hold on a second. If yeah, if there was a minus five, then it missed. Yeah. Whoa. Okay, in the cyberpunk game I run, one of my player characters has that ability too, and it's oh, okay. it's a night it's a nightmare to remember to take it into account. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll have to I'll have to put like an aura on the character, right? You can do that. I think that's what we have to do somehow. Um, I gotta figure out a way to do that for you, like a macro of some sort. So back when I was in Roll Twenty, it was easy, but I haven't figured out how to do auras in Foundry yet. Yeah, um, well, there is a way to do it. Um, we can do the user. Wait, so we another module though, but I'll, I'll I'll set one up and give you a macro for it. Oh, so we can do the uh, user created uh, effect modifiers. Uh, that's true too. Yeah, that could be done too. So you could go in there and do that. All right. So okay, that's a miss. Okay. All right. Next one. Okay. It can observe. Yes, it can. Oh, oh shit. Alright, that's a minus seven. With minus five. Yeah, so let's add the minus five to that too. Okay. Well, I don't believe this thing has... Does not have gunslinger. Nope. Kill. So no gunslinger for this thing. This is just a machine. However, critical hit could happen. Damn. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> okay, so um, in this case, since he was firing down, um, 
a huge, well, not a huge, I'd say probably about a, a, a one foot or a six inch hole just opens up in the uh, asphalt next to you with a shower of sparks. And um, then you hear the crack because it's a hypersonic round. Okay. Yeah. Jeez. I may not Move teleport away. Okay. <laughs> there was no so, muzzle flash either. So. Why, don't, why don't you guys just stand next to me for a while? So, so you know, Ignacio has some expletives. <laughs> good, thing, good, good thing he wore his brown pants today. Mm-hmm. Good thing. Good thing he's next. Oh, no, good thing he's next to a sewer. There you go. Even better. <laughs> Sorry, Cal. Fine. It, it scared me. Maybe, maybe, maybe squirt a little bit. Well, that was close. Okay, and another round splashes uh, just right in front of, uh, right beside uh, Cal there. Also, again, the sparks, and of course the uh, Ferris Wait. round. Explodes but sparks. But, but Cal's still underground. What was he? I thought my, it was above. I have my head popped out of the hole, but just enough to see the couch. Well, in that case, uh, yeah, it missed. All right, Denduro, you are next. Okay. Um, so I've got enhanced move one, mm-hmm. basic speed of uh, basic speed of six, or basic move of eight. So um, I only have a half level of it, so that gives me an effective move of 12 if I'm going in more or less a straight line. That guy's up on a roof. Um, I think I'm going to run. Well, get get yourself inside this area so that you don't have to worry about the two on the roof. Yeah, I'm going to run. Yeah, you want to get, get, get in the, uh, yeah. Good device there, Weasel. Sprint eight yards, um, and actually, you can use part of my enhanced move. Keep going in a straight line here. That way, I get a little bit of cover from the uh, the pole here. So okay, then Zero, you you you're on a tail, right? You don't have feet, yes? No, I have feet. Oh, okay, you okay? Yep. No, there's he doesn't slither. Either way, it looks cool, but I. He just has he just has the Snoopy feet. Did you see how fast he moved? Yes. Yeah. yeah, a very brightly colored target. That's what I'm there for. So, um, yeah, I spend my whole action moving. Okay. Oh man! All right. X is the weasel. Okay. Give me just a second. Um, I, I looked over this while I was in between my turn, but <laughs> yeah, situations change. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know. It's that's that's my worst nightmare when it comes to gaming, uh, especially being a wizard. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> fucking moved in the way. Yeah, I mean, you know, one one game I said, you know what, fuck it, that's what I was going to do, and I fireballed the room. I told everybody I was going to fireball the room. Yeah, that's a, Fire ran in there anyway. That, that's, so I smoked him. That, that's still the that's still a t shirt that I want to get. I didn't ask how big the room was. I said I cast fireball. Fire. <laughs> yeah, Very I've actually done that in a game too. Yeah, I didn't ask it, where the enemy was. I just cast fireball. In in AD and D, you had to do the math because that thing would expand down a hallway. Right. Yeah. So, well, um, you know, it was, it was uh, three point five. So yeah, I want to drag this just kind of in a straight line scott but uh-huh. uh i'm kind of trying to do the zigzag thing <laughs> okay because i mean that's right. that's how far i can move <laughs> Ser- serpentine um, sounds like you need to get a few of our hours on the treadmill there chief <laughs> <laughs> or at least the exercise wheel since you're a weasel um Somebody measuring. I'm going to. While I'm moving, mm-hmm. 
I'm pulling out a pipe bomb. Okay. Ready to move maneuver on the move. All right. Um, if that's allowed. But I, I, I can see being able to, to move and just grab a pipe bomb off my belt. I'm not. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be, yeah, move and an, an action. So yeah. I'm okay with that. Okay. It's, you know, but if you're doing sprinting, then that would be no. Because uh, you're getting an extra move. Right. But I, <laughs> because you can do move and attack. No, I can't you do move and grab. So, but that's that's going to be my turn. All right. Harvey, what you going to um, do? So, if you do a pop out ranged attack, there's normally mm-hmm. a negative two. How does yeah. that interact with popping out and TK crushing somebody? Basically, the same rules apply. All right. I would like to pop out TK crush that angel on the okay. other side of the but, killer. What I have for you? Don't you have that? Um... Oh wait, that, that's bigger than a foot. Never mind. So yeah, you can probably pop up if you will. Doesn't mean you have to move, but you know the target's there. Yeah, I I would have seen him running up from the. Is this basically? It, yeah, basically it's a step. So. Yeah. Um. So. So yeah, step. Negative two. Negative two for a pop out, and then I will. Don't break the gun. Oh, that's a crappy ass roll. But you, good target though. He's gonna. Um, he resist. He resists with willpower. Gonna gonna break my. Gonna gonna break my brand new gun, man. No, not good question. Because it's a machine. Um, does it still have a willpower score? Only because I didn't know any better. Um, so I'm gonna say no, because it, it's programming. It's not a. It's not sentient per se. So I just do damage. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's it's a machine. It's reprogrammable. Nice. Yeah, it's it is not a. Um, not a living, it's a machine body, so it's not living or breathing. It's not a cyborg, as someone mentioned earlier. It is a full robotic. So, yeah, you're crushing. It's not, it's not resisting okay. anyway. <coughs> um, well, then I do two points of crushing damage to it. Bypasses DR. Okay. Two points direct to the, direct to the vital, well, not vitals, but direct to the hit points. Mm. Ooh, wait. Um, that... Hold on a second, because that actually. Um, I need you. You know, at some point, I need you to make a uh, a, a thing, uh, like a macro or, or a damage for that, that just does two points, so that I can, you know, you can quote unquote roll it. You know, if it's mm. going to be one d plus one. Or one D one plus one. Yeah, yeah. There's perfect. there's a way to do that. Yeah, because then um, there's yeah. that. That's what it. That would. That's what it. GCS populated automatically. Uh-huh. But um, I only. I can only do as that's much piercing. damage. Um, oh no, it's not. It's not based on my. Um, uh, margin of success. I thought it was. It just does four damage. If I okay, think. four points of damage. Okay, that's what yep. I need. All right, so then I'm gonna go move this back over here. Yeah, it's four points of crushing damage. Uh, well, yeah. Yeah, good? four points of crushing damage. Okay. It's actually untyped. It doesn't say what type it is, but crushes in the title. Well, I was just noticing that in your when you threw your damage out there, it shows piercing. Yeah, um, which is again just what GCS populated automatically when I took yeah. the ability. I didn't add yeah. that myself. So you can go on GCS. You can go in and edit that to CR. Yeah, that's easy. Yeah, GCS is amazing. Well, I mean, it lets you create anything. Well, almost anything. We have had a few things that we were not able to create. Yeah. Scott, let me know when uh, you're good. Yeah, I'm just trying to 
deal with this here somehow. No, it's not yeah. damage reduction. Weasel, the weasel starts singing timber. No, that's the problem. Here's the problem. Is that I'm trying to override the DR. But it won't let me. You can override the DR. Yeah, how? Um, so when you're applying damage. Oh, wait a minute. I think I might just figured it out. Okay. Thank. Yeah, you can, you can tell it ignores DR. Where do I put that? It's on the right hand side in your options on the damage. I can't see it, so I, I can't do the drag and, and pull it up on my screen so I can give you exactly yeah. what it is. Damage reduction, hardened DR, armor divisor, ranged, half damage, um, damage reduction, explosion, flexible armor, blunt trauma. No, that's not all, any of that there. But you know, I've I've done the ignores DR for uh, when people have used the um, death touch in fantasy. Yeah, yeah. So we probably need to put death that. touch is a wonderful spell. Yeah, it is. I, I had somebody actually built the actually built the martial artist out of the dungeon fantasy for the uh, out of the magic book that did the uh, death fist uh, martial artist. Oh, give him a quarter staff, man. Make it a staff. Well, I can't, can't, can't charge the the spell through the staff. Yeah, you can. If it has the staff enchantment, it can't. Okay, so just double checking to make sure crushing didn't have any modifiers to the torso. That's what I was concerned about, and it doesn't. So, I'm assuming that's where you went, torso, right? Um, it doesn't say under TK Crush that I can localize the damage to any specific location. Um, well, you know, you could, uh, with some character points, create a technique that targets a specific uh, location and be able to buy the penalty down. Um, you could probably look in a martial um, arts book for examples. Do the, do this the... is the statistics for TK Crush right there. Okay, um, yeah. So. Yeah, I, I, I do know with my teleportation attack, it does say I can specifically target okay. places. But I I remember the TK crush back from when uh, Patrick had it. And yeah, yeah, yeah there's, there's no way to target it. It literally crushes the whole body. Unless yeah. we're making a technique. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because well. there's, there's the brain squeeze and the throat squeeze techniques. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. And I don't want to spend fatigue to do damage to specific locations right now anyways. Yeah, okay. it was, well, it's a machine, so it's not any faster. Okay, so sorry about yeah. the delay on that. Okay, that's done. Uh, we're up to Carter. See how this goes? Boom. Boom. Teleport. Success. Uh, I'm behind a couch. Oh, God. <laughs> Teleported through the window. Oh, God. Yeah, oh, God. I just thought about what I'm going to do. This is not going to be good. Uh, is anything ever you do good? All right, angle three. Uh, well, is. because right now, Ignacio has no idea that Carter's power has changed. Yeah, we, we talked about it. I thought we hand-waved it. Okay, okay. Because I was, I was getting ready to toss the pipe down going, Carter, catch! <laughs> Yeah. No, nope, that's Harvey now. You gotta do the do that maneuver with Harvey. It is staying where it's at. And it will aim. Oh boy. Yeah, Chris, in my synopsis for the for the episode I started with me waking up up and confiding in you that um I had, had a weird dream and that things were wonky. Okay. All right, cool. There it is. Right there on top. Okay. If anybody wants to read them, my synopsis is I do sort of elaborate a little story stuff, but I don't think it breaks anything. Did you put them on a scabbard? Yeah. All right, perfect. I'll pop it in the Discord. As soon as I have time, I'll read it. Mm -hmm. It's 
no uh, Moby Dick, so. Oh, That's I good. I I hated reading Herman Melville. Yeah. Not quite as long-winded as, as Charles Dickens, but still. Charles Dickens got paid by the word. That's right. Okay. Cal got missed. Can they do they even know where I'm at? Uh, no. I was say, I am aware of those guys, so... If they shoot, I'd, I'd, I'd like a dodge. That will be an attack. Okay. Not that you need to dodge it. <laughs> but there was an attack. Oh. All right. You, you know I don't have the, the, the minus five bonus anymore, right? I know. It still okay. missed. Okay. How's... Not that I'm trying to get shot, but you know. Well, if you want to be shot, I can shoot I mean, at you. I mean, I'm trying to. I'm just trying to be fair. That's a big range penalty if you're not taking a turn to aim. Yeah. Negative seven is nothing to joke about. Yeah, um, it's it's been pretty brutal. So, oh. and then of course you guys are getting ready to move under cover, so they had to take the shots while they could. And then Dendura is going to try to I don't know, attack. I am. Uh, I'm going to. Um, do you allow the uh, uh, the extra effort rule for martial arts for heroic charge, where I can send an FP and attack with a move and attack without the negative four penalty and skill cap of nine? Why, yes, because um, that's something that uh, the avian creatures tend to do is move and attack with talons. Okay. Yep. Um, yeah, I would like to because I, I did. Didn't want to pay. I didn't want to have to have each character pay for weapon masters so they could do that freaking thing. So I'm like, fuck that. The fact that I'm playing GURPS with people that even know to ask that question is giving me so much joy right now. Is it refreshing? Yeah, <laughs> I'm glad. Uh, yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna move ten yards. Awesome. I'm actually I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna move ten point one yards. Okay. Oh, maybe actually hold on. If if you could oh, stop measuring, you're measuring. Oh, I'm measuring. Oh, sorry. Um, yeah, well, I'm trying to. So, space bar. Be able to reach. Well, well yeah, if you move yourself and don't get where you want, you can yeah. hit Control Z and it'll put you back where you started. Okay. Um, you can undo it. <laughs> I'm trying. Sorry, I'm trying to. So, uh, so are you trying to do a question. waypoint? Well, no. So, I in order to get to him, I'd have to be able to use my enhanced move, meaning I'd have to move in a straight line, but the pillar is uh -huh. in the way. Would you let me attempt, like, an acrobatics roll to sort of, like, skirt around it. the edge of it? Go for it. This okay. is cinematic, so go for it. Cool. The rule cool uh, when it applies. So. Otherwise, yeah, you're going to trip over that thing. Ooh, close. <laughs> Almost tripped over that thing. <laughs> well, he got the minus three for range, so he can do it, you know, a couple of yards away. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I was, uh, I was skirting the edge there, so um, I'm just going to yeah, go ahead. He's, he's a good... I'm gonna get up next to them. Like, I think the katana had a reach of two. I don't know if I remember. I don't know. Uh, I don't Good. Know. One to two. Yeah. It is one to two. Um, I'll get within. I'll get within one though. Um, okay. So yeah, I'm gonna be there, and then I'll spend the fatigue point to heroic right. charge and move it okay. attack. Um, and if I remember correctly, I think you get uh, additional like uh, some additional damage because you. Uh, no, Katana only has a reach of one. Okay. Okay. We'll answer that question. Second question yep. is, charging gets you extra points of damage. I think that's only if I'm doing a slam attack. Oh, okay. Um, it gives me HP times the velocity, but for regular okay. movement attack, no. Um, yeah, I will know whenever I get up next to him, I'll take the. Uh, um, I think I can crouch as a free action, so I'm going to do that. And since I have uh, low fighting, I don't take the attack penalty. Okay. Um, when I do well, it. that will certainly confuse the machine. So, yeah, basically, Dendura sprints up to him and then drops to a low, going from like six feet to like three feet. Like sliding into home base or something, okay. Yeah, pretty much. And then I'm going to launch an attack uh, at the robot's arm. Um, All right, so, which left or right? I'm hitting the arm, not the gun. 
Yeah, I was going to say, oh, no, so, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, for me, I'm picturing this anime attack where he he's running in, and, and he does the, the sliding in the home base, and then all of a sudden springs up in the air with the blade out as he slices through the... <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's similar yeah. to that. Um, Left or right? Well, or the, the uh, you know, um, nobody... Can I combine oh. a rapid strike with a movement attack? I don't think I can. Big no, because rapid strike is all out, um, and so it doesn't allow you to move. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, so I'll go ahead and swing that. I've got the negative two applied. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, and you swung it one handed, huh? Yep. Real I've got cool. my. Uh, I still have my machine pistol in the other hand. Yes, of course. Yep. All right. Now let's see what we can do here. I should have thought about it. Yeah. <coughs> oh did goodness! Not dodge. It didn't dodge. It did not dodge. I love it. Um, I, as far as the arm, uh, just uh, I don't believe robots to be handed. Um, the one that I think has a firmer grasp on the, the one with the trigger finger on it. Okay. The, uh, uh, that would be right then. Okay. Yeah. So. Uh, oh, that's interesting. That'll be the arm that's farther away from you. Yep. And I will roll for damage. It says three. Yeah. Swing yeah, that's yep. good. We got it. Yep. All right. So, yeah, nine points of cutting damage uh, to the arm. Arm and right. divisor 10. Right. Arm. Arm divisor 10. Injuries 10. Machine. So, it has the unliving. Okay. So, 10 points. So if, I remember, if you get cut for more than a fifth, that's a, uh, on a limb. I think it's a it half. Off. Or half? Um, yeah. Uh, it's half her limbs. I think a third for... So, uh, actually... Legs are a half, arms are one third. Arms are okay. One-third. You have a... Uh, you have just created a one-armed bandit. Well, ho- hold on. Um, what? So, the the rules on this is... Because is, you're asking about the severing rule. Um, mm-hmm. So, in order to sever it, he has to do three times the amount of hit points of the body part. So the body part is one third of its maximum hit points. Yeah. Okay. So however many hit points, so however many hit points that arm is, mm-hmm. then you get your cutting damage going to it. Then you can calculate from there whether or not it severs it. Okay. Well, then it's crippled. Okay. Yep. Um, it's uh, so. hanging by by some. Fiber optic cables and some wiring and sorry, servo. So sorry, I I learned the severing rules really really well back oh, yeah. back during the days of Jonas. Yeah. yeah. No, for sure, for sure. Um, <laughs> oh yeah, don't forget Astra too. She oh there. yeah. But she so, went for the torso oh, severing. Ast- Astra, I just gave up on even bothering to do the math. Yeah. Just just yeah. Okay. So um, yeah, that. Uh, uh, trigger arm is uh, is uh, crippled or disabled. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you're right, Frostbite. Just just under the the amount to sever it. Yeah. Well, um, no, That's no. Right. It's just uh, I I had to pull I pulled the cut back because I didn't want to destroy the gun on accident. So. Thank you. you. Thank you. <laughs> uh. Yep. Uh. Passing. All right. Now I just have to get out of this area. Because I'm in danger. Mm-hmm. All right, Ignacio. All right. One, two, three, Wiley four, weasel. five. There's my, there's my five yards. Mm-hmm. Damn it! I think if you move in a straight line, you could sprint and go six yards. Yeah, if you move in a straight line for more than one turn, you can add an additional yard for sprinting. But I can't do the straight line because of the oh, yeah. crap on the ground. Yeah. Um, you could try to make a jumping roll over it, or like a. I mean, I've got acrobatics. I got flexible. I got mm-hmm. yeah. He's not about to make it cool because he might fuck up. <laughs> Uh, you gotta go for it. It's all about you, the aesthetic. You know what? Uh, 
Yeah, get that extra yard. You can do it. The DM says, yes, I believe in you. You definitely won't trip and get shot on the ground. Yeah. Definitely didn't trip. <laughs> and then... Got, got the lucky. Probably is not going to help me, but I'm thinking about the cover. Yeah, it's not going to help me. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you did land over there, but all your shit went kaplank. <laughs> Because you got too many pipe bombs. <laughs> All right, so we'll move the extra yard. Just put me there. All right, I think I think that has me out of view of the two on the roof. That would be probably true if you could tell. Well, like I said, I think um, I'm <laughs> I'm confident. I'm confident that I'm out of view. Well, given the fact that you've got a uh, marble uh, column to your left and to your right, probably likely to be covered and concealed. Arby! What's you going to do? Take, you know? take a bit of a step forward. Oh, too much of a step. You can see me Night. there. Um... <laughs> Enough of the steps so I can do another pop out so, attack. Oh, all right. My my one second. Harvey, hang on. I need you to grab this. Grab what? And and you see me holding something that I'm getting ready to light. <laughs> okay. Um. I will free action drop the manhole cover, and then Bang. do my do my pop out uh, steely eyed flare. Okay. The thingy and do that for crushing damage again. All right. And then I will stare expectantly at uh, Ignatio. <laughs> okay. I, got, I gotta wait till my next turn for me to be able to throw that thing in the air. Why do I need to grab it if you're gonna throw it? Well, you, you, you know your your brain grab. You need to use your brain grape to do it. That way you can float over me, there and you don't have to roll do it you, again. Do you want me to steer it in flight to the target? Yep. Okay. All right. Okay, sneaking up on the guys, huh? <laughs> All right. Well, this thing was aiming, or trying to, but you don't, did the pop-up attack, so... Um, okay, we're tracking Negacio. You can, you can see you. Yeah, I can see you. So we do, do the target. We do the ranges. Still a minus three. Oh. Does the uh, crippled arm give it any negatives? Uh, it will. Depends on how strong the robot is. If it's strong enough to wield that weapon one-handed, it won't give it any penalties. Yeah, it might be able to. And that's a very good question to ask. 21. Actually, it, 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 it made the, it me the, open the character sheet. What the hell? It was the trigger figure, so he has to re-ready the gun anyway. Well, yeah, it does. Actually, you know, you're right. Um, totally didn't think about that. It has to be re-readied. So... Change maneuver. So thank all, you for that. So so all that aiming is gone. Uh huh. Where is the stupid ready? I like this team. It's gonna be sh a shame when one of us dies. <laughs> Don't worry, I've got injury tolerance. I can take at least one or two of these. Hey, I you do not. You know, I, I I told all three of y'all that you know I was convinced Ignacio was gonna die in the first two game sessions. I built him with the thought that he was going to die in the first few game sessions. Now look where we are. That's true. That's <laughs> okay. I might have DR-40, but I don't think that's good enough to stop those rail gun rounds. They probably got an armor divisor. Yeah. Hey, if nothing else, Ignacio apparently has some survival skills. Pure luck is a skill. True. 
but he'll tell you, I meant to do that. Mm-hmm. I, I knew that's how that was going to work. Wow, that's fast. Okay. Um, you hear the sound of rockets? What? They're coming after us. Okay. And I'm still measuring. Sorry. <laughs> I was hoping the wings were, you know, just uh, for show. But looks like they might not be. That's all right. Mm, I doubt it. <laughs> oh, we're going to take on all three of them. Shit. Okay. This is a little bit more favorable terrain for us, I think. So. Well, we definitely have more cover to work with. Getting across the killing field without taking a bunch of shots is the better option by far. Yes. Yeah, good tactics. And thankfully, Ignacio didn't go, We got this, just drive on in through the front door. Okay, back up to Denduro. Um, I will go ahead and uh, spend another fatigue point. I'm going to um, do the rapid strike, so fatigue point okay. to eliminate the negative six penalty down to a negative three penalty. All right. Um, and then, weren't you trained as a master uh, or trained by a master? I had Weapon Master at one point, but I, uh-huh. believe, that I, uh, I believe I removed it. Uh, I would like to say it's because I thought it would be fun to work up to in-game. Uh, the real reason is I ran out of my point budget. And I could not okay. Die, so. <laughs> well, here, here's the thing. Um, and, and I mentioned this again because you, you have access to more points if you just write up a backstory and get yeah. it on Scabbard. You know, I have everything. I... I uh, actually, I'll talk to you after the session. I was trying to figure out how to actually upload it to Scabbard, and I um, yeah, I guess I failed my int check because I I could not figure it out. So okay, okay. But, well, uh, and post session, yeah, I would. Uh, no um, problem. Because yeah, I tell you, for both both you and Jane are both because um, uh, you know, y'all are like way behind the power curve on on character points right now. And, and I would and yeah. and Ignacio Ignacio actually has the lowest points out of everybody. Uh, yes and no. No, but anyhow, um, it, yeah. It doesn't, it doesn't matter how many you have; you still run out of your budget. <laughs> it's here every True. freaking time. But um, since we're bringing that up, uh, if you guys would for me, because uh, I already had a plan for where I was going to be spending my points next um, after you know, post game. If you guys can throw up in our Discord the languages your characters know, um, I'm planning on purchasing one point in oh, in the languages. Great idea. You know, Lake Katana. All right, he made it. Where were you targeting, or is it a uh, range? This is no. just a. This is not targeted. Right. Okay. Yeah. All right. Got yep. uh, it. Do some damage. Two. All right. So two. Well, uh, hold on. Let me uh, see if it dodges twice. Yep. Oh, I can't sure. wait! I can't wait to tear that machine apart with my scavenging. Fail. One fail. Okay. One success. One success. All right. So dodge one, hit one. Hit yeah, one. that's right, sir. Thirteen I points of damage. Him. Okay. And you just hit untargeted, so it's wherever you hit. In this instance, you got it in the torso. You have cut a really freaking nice hole right in the torso of this thing, right between the two uh, stainless steel boobies. 
I, I had to figure out where the power source was. So. Mm, yeah, so it is. It's malfunctioning, from what you can tell. Okay, so <laughs> looks like it's on the verge of it anyway. So that's mm -hmm. um. I do want to take a. Plus. I do want to take a step. Um, just kind of off to its side here. All right. Uh, post attack. So and then can I can I change faces? Okay. There, oh. there is a. There's a very cool combo here <laughs> where uh, the Duro makes a hole and Harvey throws, moves the bomb right inside this thing. That would be awesome. I would, uh, the Duro would ask that you allow him to move first. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm just thinking. <laughs> thinking unless, unless, of course, it's like a firecracker in a, in a pop can and goes, oh, yeah, that's true, that's true, yeah. <laughs> So, but we um, shall see. All right, so Scott, remember, explosions on TV are much bigger than they are in real life. Scott, Scott will have to calculate the DR on the way out of mm -hmm. the right. Very true. So okay. th this is something I didn't get to check with you on, Scott. Uh huh. Because uh, I've got my gun on a sling. You know, basically mm -hmm. it's got the the claws or whatever that you know that you keep over your shoulder. Um. In, G in GCS, um, there is no fast draw gun for rifles. But you can make it that way. Um, uh, are you sure? I think that. Um, well, you got fast draw. You got fast draw gun for pistols, but not for rifles. Uh huh. It's a fast draw long arm. Right. Yeah, fast draw long arm. And okay. Because you have, and it, of course, you're going to get that free because, well. No, because you still need to be able to learn, know how to do it. But if you have a combat swing, which which I think is what you're referring to, yep, um, which keeps your weapon at a ready at, at ready position all the time, yeah, yeah, you still need to you know put your hands on it and aim it. Right. Um, yeah, we, we had those. So. So I am gonna holler, uh, Harvey, behind us. I'm going to use a free action to drop the pipe bomb. Did you just lit? I haven't lit it yet. Never okay, never, well, never, never, said that I lit it. Because that, that actually takes a ready action. That's um, where you need a, pyro, a pyrokinetic now. <laughs> um, or a well-placed shot. Well, there's that too. Working, working on with, the with a tracer round. Um, or an incendiary round. I am going to do a. It's a default on fast draw. All right. Uh, the is it hmm. a patrol sling? Is that what you have? Yeah, that's what he's telling me. Yeah. Gives you a plus one to your long arm roll. Um, I don't know what sort of. I actually don't think fast draw has a default. Damn, it does not. I, no. I've got a DCS pulled up here. So. There you go. No, no, I just tried to use an instant default, and it's not. It is not playing. Nice uh -huh. for me. Well, I gave Shit. you a thing. You give me a thing? Yeah, yeah, no, I I pulled it up in Instant Pulse as well. Okay, all right, so, yeah, all right then. Um, well, I guess you'll have to learn that skill. Usually one character point is enough for fast draw. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, Oh, I'm just looking at my move options. Um, come on, open up, I say. Kim, it's a dex easy. You get a plus one from combat reflexes. Yeah, so I think a dex easy starts you out at Dex minus two? Right. It starts you out at Dex with Dex right. easy. Okay. So, you know, so. this time, you kind of know what you need to do. So, Dex roll at plus one. Okay. The fast draw. This one time. Appreciate it. As long it. as, and, and this is decreed from the bench on your high, that you buy yep. fast draw long arm at the end of the session. Will be done. Yeah, well... And he makes it by four, of course. 
Okay, you're pointing your uh, long arm. Or at least you have control of it. All right. Turn on my character a little bit. Okay, so facing movements. I'm going to do a... Well, I was trying to get where I could see what I was doing. Um, I'm going to do a moving attack. So I'm going to move to here. Okay. And use that. You use my move because you can end your move with a facing. All right. All right. That leads um, me to that guy there. You might think after shooting, uh, you could drop into a crouch, which I think would give negative two to target you with. Mm -hmm. And keyhole on that shot, aren't you? It's got him. Yeah, and it's 7.5 um, uh, yards up in the air still. Okay. Uh, let's see. Another 7.5 still puts it at negative 7, so okay. we're, we're good. Um, then telescopic vision. Minus 3. You trying to put in a hole in my ankle? <laughs> I already got one. I'm going to do that. And then character sheet. I got to double check something. Okay, I can't take advantage of that. Because I'm literally taking a shot off the hip. Okay. Pretty much, hero. <laughs> All right, well, it's going for it. Here goes nothing. Oh, God, minus nine to this. Mm -hmm. oh, hold on. Let me, let me let me change that. Yeah, are you sure about that? Because I know you, you cut the range modifier to uh, three. Yeah, then, yeah, I cut. cut Cut the range of my fire, but I was trying to do a hit location. And then you also did your move and attack, so uh, the bulk adds to that. Yep. And let's see. Oh, that's right, because I don't have Gunslinger, so the bulk still counts for me. So, yep. bitch. Yeah, you're cool, but not that cool, right? Yep. Yeah, it's a good thing that I didn't add Gunslinger to these uh, uh, robots. Y'all been fucked. <laughs> Alright, click that. Would have been rude. And, uh. I am a merciful GM. You know? <laughs> let's go, um. Uh... Damn, that's a good roll. Nice, very nice. Alright, well, let's see what happens with the other guy. That is, yeah, the one you're targeting, so. Yeah, I'm targeting this guy up here. Ooh, made it by one. All right. But because of that, you now have its full attention. Yeah, I got figured. Oh. Just wanted to see. Oh, yeah. it, oh, it made its, oh, it made its dodge. It made it by, oh, okay. Yeah. Made its dodge by one. So sorry. Still, it was fun thing in the dice roll. Because that's you a lot. That's a, a lot of dice. piercing ammo out of that thing? Probably not. Not yet. Soon. Yeah, nothing like a 50 cal with APIT. <laughs> well, it's not a 50 cal. This is this this is my Springfield. Yeah, but I remember my 50 cal, and I used to fire APIT out of it. Oh. In Desert Storm. Very nice stuff. Armor piercing incendiary tracer. All right, <laughs> sorry guys, I didn't mean I didn't mean to take so long on the thing, but yeah, you, uh, you have your calculations on point next time, dude. <laughs> but uh, Harvey, the hope is, is that you're gonna take that uh, pipe bomb I dropped and toss it towards the same guy that I just shot at. I don't toss things. I okay. He moves them at eleven. I pick, I pick it his, up. His movement goes to. 11. You did. And quite well. Critically pick it up, yeah. Yeah. 
He's very serious when it comes to picking up and, things. He does and, not toss. I mean, it, it never. It, I was like, it never even touched the ground. I let go of it, and it just stayed there. That's right, because you said grab it, and he grabbed it, and he gave you that steely eye, like, don't you ever drop shit for me again. Harvey, Harvey, did you say you had the ignition perk? I do. Yeah, so that works out well with the fuse. Um, but I have to have it next to me to ignite it. Ah. Because it, if it, the heat comes off my body directly, I can't do it remotely. Check. Wow. A smoking crow. Can you do Can you do both the grab and the ignition at the same time? Yeah, I don't think the ignition uh, um, is... A, is I think he's giant. concerned about the, the variable fuse time. <laughs> <laughs> Probably part of it. Um, all right, so man, yeah, is, yeah. Are you cover moving? is now a pipe bomb. Is now a pipe bomb. Good enough. Uh, and I can move it eleven yards. There it goes. Okay. Um, all right. That's not the one he shot at, but okay. Works for you, me, anyone else? Um. I didn't see where the other one was. That's the one that I saw. Okay, so I'm fair enough. It that way. All right. All right, then I guess uh, we're moving to Carter. Okay. Um, not only does this thing have vitals, but I can kind of see them now, right? <laughs> well, it has in it has parts. All right. Um, well, I'm gonna target vitals then. Okay, well, it won't make any difference, really, because, you know, it's, uh, well, it's a machine, so. So it doesn't have vitals? Not in the strictest sense, no, because it's a machine. It's unliving. Right, so, okay, so there's nothing to target. Okay. No, I mean, if you target you the, torso, you target torso. It might be, um, I mean, you can target the gun, the limbs, the eyes, the... Wings. No, I get... I get a special thing for vitals, so... Oh, okay, yeah. Um, so, I'm just gonna reach out. This is the first time I've done my inner portation, so I'm trying to teleport oh, okay. parts of it out of its body. Alright, then. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, it's, uh... Okay, and it's, uh, since it's, a uh, psionic, it, uh, doesn't register to the thing, so it doesn't know how, it doesn't know that it needs to move. And, uh, yeah, and it's, uh, it kind of passes the upper. Yeah, all right. It doesn't do a ton of damage, but it is impaling. Interesting. Okay. Eight points of impaling damage past the DR. I guess that's actually significant. That's, yeah, I mean, that's stellar. So. The only the big difference between that and the crush is I've got distance penalty, normal distance penalty. That's right. So okay. it's, not minus, no. it's not minus eight. Yeah. I have I have no range penalties out to two hundred yards to crush people. Yeah. Okay, more damage to it. All right, let's see now. Let's take a look at the. Okay. All right, so it does get a get a roll at minus one because it's uh it's damaged. It might fail. I can get enough points, I can start uh, working on teleporting guns out of people's hands. Okay, so <laughs> that'd be super useful. It didn't malfunction. It did not malfunction due to damage, so that's a plus for me. Um, however, since uh, it just finished, it finished readying the uh, weapon. Um, this will bring it to bear on the uh, smug uh, guy. Right next to me. Okay. And because I don't have time to aim, because it's being critically destroyed, we're just going to attack. Okay. Um, I will... <laughs> and it malfunctioned and missed. <laughs> 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 Sounds good. So just uh, so this beautiful marble uh, tiles here, it just blew a good eight-inch hole in one of them. Or in a couple of them. 
so much for that. All right. Okay, I think the aim maneuver allows me to move one. Yard. Okay. Next. Maneuver. Aim. One. Yard. I love that it limits you to the, the, the distance. Yeah, we're back to Denduro. Right. Who is using up his nine lives as fast as he can make them. <laughs> Doing my best here, yeah. Uh, I'll go ahead and attack again. Um, sure. I mean, after all, everyone else is. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this time I will aim for the other arm. So. Um, okay. Yep. Just a uh, negative two to my skill then. Yeah. I don't have to worry about moving and attacking either. Yep. Oh, uh, that's good. I want to kind of conserve my fatigue points because mm -hmm. I'm feeling like I might have to dodge. All right, well. Um, oh, damn. No doubt. <laughs> oh, ho, ho. <laughs> okay. Sendero serving up some uh, steel sashimi. Oh, we, 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 have a, we have a table for this. Yep, I'm rolling on her now. Did he now? Oh, you found it? You rolled it. Aw, he got right in the middle there. All right, well, give me some damage. Hopefully it feels critical. Wow. I'll take ten. You know. Eight points of damage. Yep, to the Here. arm. Well, we all add that to... Uh, that was left arm in this case. Yep. Override. Oh, actually, it's not an override because it's internal. Okay. Uh, eight points to that. Okay. Well, that's crippled now, too. And then, um, I can take a... S oh, no! No, it's not you. It's supposed to be the other guy. I don't know why. It's because right. you're selected. That's why. So sorry. I appreciate it. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, whatever. Okay, so what two crippled like arms, recently? and... Yeah, I don't that, know. Uh, well, that, it just... It would, that's weird. Okay. But, uh, yeah, but, no, I, I get it. Um, but that I means to... that means that gun hits the ground. Necessarily, it's crippled. It doesn't necessarily mean that it didn't let go. That would have uh, to actually yeah. probably do some sort of dex roll to retain the right. weapon. Right. And that I would do want be... to retain my facing towards it, but if I get a step, I'd like to basically slash and step, kind of using these pillars. Okay. Um, I see what you did there. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll allow it. Thank you. Uh, in the meantime, um, let's go ahead and do it. Let's see, I'll give it a minus four because it's two bad arms. Okay. Oh, oh goodness. The uh, rifle is on the ground. Excellent. Now you gotta do is let me know. So, um, y'all have disarmed it and disarmed it. Oh, I don't know. I need a rifle. You are okay. more than welcome to it. He, are you okay. Are you getting ready to go steal my okay. rifle? Ignacio, it's your move. Train, train me on it. Gentlemen, there's gonna be three of them. It's fine. Yeah, if you can get them. Alright, so... Uh... It is out of your view, so you don't know it hit the ground. And yeah. You oh, yeah. Damage. Yeah. No. 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 I was. I was already. I had a separate plan already for my round. Okay. So I'm. I'm following through with the actions I had planned. All right. Um. All right. We're gonna go crouching. Aim. This allows me a step. Turn back, you can turn yourself turn, turn back around. Hokey pokey. <laughs> All right, that All gets... right guys, we're, we're at five minutes over. 
So we'll run this round out and then uh, Say, adjourn for the evening. I'm okay. I'm okay with running a little bit longer if the rest of the guys are and if the GM is. Yeah, like I said, uh, that was all I was talking about. Um, we're a little low over, but if we can uh, run through this round and close it out, then we'll okay. pick, up, pick it up next session. All right, so we'll we'll have to make sure we remember all the things I'm doing then, because um, I'm stepping into a, a step back, put myself in a crouching position. Um, I am aiming this round. All right, uh, set your maneuver. I already did. All right. Um, which uh, which bot are you aiming at? North. North. Okay. Yeah, he doesn't have a clear line of sight to uh, the southern bot. Well, no, that was the whole reason I moved where I did, so that I didn't have a clear line of sight to it, and it doesn't have a clear line of sight to me. Yeah, that is a yeah, yeah, and and because you're on the side of that uh, column, you could also probably claim uh, uh, partial cover from it. Yep. Oh, but I can also see that the gun hit the ground over here. Yeah, that was like a, a wait what? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh, All right. I'm curious how the thing is going to attack. Uh, if video game logic applies, it might just run at one of us and self-destruct. So I'm hoping that doesn't happen. So if it has, only if they were designed with self-destruct mode. But no, I'm I'm doing my uh, I'm I'm doing my round to aim so that next round I can make a decisive shot on that thing. All right. Okay. We're up to uh, Harvey. So you're, it, does does it look like you're aiming at the pipe bomb or not? Um, <laughs> definitely not. You probably aim in the opposite direction. The pipe bomb. Yeah. He's, well, yeah, he's, he's, well, no. Yeah, he's, yeah, if you're he's definitely, from are you, you can tell he is aiming north at something that you cannot see. Yep. Okay. Um, yeah. So so you're you, so you're sending the pipe bomb down towards the southern robot. Yeah. That works. Uh, we never did find out if uh, what the timer was on that. that was one to four seconds, huh? Uh, Is it, did you light it before you dropped it? I did not. No, yeah. Okay. It's, uh, so it's he would, it, I think. Yeah, they were going to try and ignite it with a shot. Oh, then okay. I am just Then I am just going to TK crush the uh, angel to the south. Okay. This round. Mm-hmm. Hey, you still made it by quite a bit. Yeah, well, that was with, a, was that with or without range. Mm. Uh, no range penalty up to 200 yards. Oh, well, there we are then. Scott, you mind if we go ahead and do one more round just so that I don't have to remember all the prep things I did oh, for well, this round? It will depend on how fast we can go. Okay. And then I move. Right. Okay, Harvey's done. Carter, is this uh, is this robot dead or is it? No, but it's making it's making funny noises and movements. Its arms are like hanging on the side of it, flopping around a little bit. I mean, does it look like it's it's effective in any sort of attack? So far, no. I mean, all right, I'm gonna but, but, but you're like not a, not a robot expert, so. You, could be something. Right. All right, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna move. And let's see. How do you do waypoints? Uh, space bar. Nice. Yeah, that's pretty. Um, cool. All right, I'm gonna come out, and I'm going to go right next to these guys. So if they're within two yards of me, if I can, I'll go behind. If they're within two yards of me, they are in my photo. Looks like they are. All right, don't don't move more than two yards away from me, and you got minus five to be hit. And technically, they need to roll a minus five to see us, unless they've got something other than regular vision. There. So that's two yards, including your space, or two yards from it would, uh, radius. I imagine it's radius. Okay, so that's the go no go zone there. Perfect. Oh, that's for me. Yeah, that's for you. All right. 
I'm good. Fire away. Right. Angle. Hmm. What is a poor robot to do when it has no arms? Uh, I mean, it could try and kick me, or like tackle me with its wings or something. Yeah, it could try kicking you. If the wings aren't bought as strikers. Mm hmm. They are not, because they're not wing wings per se. I mean, they're wings, but they're not like the wings, you know, of a bird or something. They're more like the airfoils. Airfoils, really, because it's robotic. There's no buzzing or flapping, so it's jet powered. <laughs> their bones, their bones are set, certainly not hollow. No, it's it's a uh, duralloy chassis. So uh, I guess we'll get close enough to try a kick. Okay. Never know. That is true. Because that's all we've got left. It doesn't bite. <laughs> I guess you better dodge. <laughs> All right. Uh, I actually, if it's kicking at me with its uh -huh. leg, I want to try and parry it with the uh, katana swing. All right, um, then. I'll go ahead and spend a fatigue point for the... Uh, I added so distracted. I'll spend a fatigue point for the plus two. Um, oh, okay. So that puts my effective parry at a 14. Well, all right, then. Um... I probably Why did you... have had a negative seven for range. I don't know. Yeah, so I think I that's a parry. Yeah, that's a parry. So, uh, I'll call um, it as a parry. It's so a roll damage. So yep, thank you. And respectable damage. Let's get back. I'm so sorry. And it probably kicked my right leg. Damage on the right is. So it just steps up and throws a kick at me and gets its leg cut off for the, uh, or cut into, I should say, for the trouble. Yeah, her leg is crippled now, too. <laughs> okay, well, it is definitely down now, so uh, let's set that posture to prone. Okay. Uh, not much else it can really do, so. Moving along, angle number two. Aiming. And, uh, last turn, we're aiming. This guy could aim at me. I was using the ruler earlier to... I'm in his line of sight. I might have well, a little bit that's of the what I'm trying to do. Yeah. Yeah. Might have a little bit of the skirt from the pillar, but most of me still out there. Yeah. But you're also crouched too from far away. So let's um, let's start doing some math here. Distance modifier. What's that? Let's say that'll be minus seven. With the mm -hmm. and then he gets the uh, well, he'll get bonuses to defense. But he's also got the covered, which uh, that looks like partial cover, so that should be uh, minus three. Yeah, um, new one. <laughs> just let me keep working here, man. I got this. Oh no, no, I know you got it. I'm, 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 I'm speaking out loud for chat for the people oh, watching okay. the stream. Yeah. Oh, okay, I got oh, you. Oh yeah, I forgot you guys are streaming that. That's cool. Do you have any viewers right now? Uh, oh yeah, we got five. We got five people watching hello, right now. Viewers. Hi guys. And of course the crouching. <laughs> All right, let's do. We got that. Okay. It's gonna be a. That's, that's gonna be a hell of a shot. Yeah, well, it's it's at minus twelve without adding the uh, accuracy. You know, crit happens. So, so you gotta be prepared. It's uh, it was aiming and using uh, the scope. So, uh, in your case, it got very lucky. And it's only a minus. Yeah, let me make sure I got you targeted too, because I want to do this all at once. It's only on minus two after all everything's said and done. Ooh. 
scopes will do that to you. They got some skill. Uh, made it by one. This going to be a cliffhanger. Okay. So it's a chance to dodge this. I will attempt the acrobatic dodge. From the crouching position, that's going to be wonderful. I was like, he's going to parry it with his katana. Uh, I don't have the precognitive parry. I was thinking about it. Um, do you want me to apply any negatives to the acrobatic roll? Um, no, because you could okay. be tumbling. Okay, so that's ah! what I do to my defense. And yeah. Then I so. especially don't want to get shot, so I'll spend a fatigue to feverish defense here. Okay. Um, that's a total of plus four. Uh, wow. My dodge roll. Well, okay, you're doing a, an acrobatic dodge, right? Uh, yes. He's, yeah, tumbling probably somewhere out of the way. And... Yeah, so, yeah, the uh, round creates a divot uh, probably back here behind you somewhere. So that's... Uh, again, uh, busting up the floor. That's so I, uh, as I'm on the floor, uh, after having just cut this robot's legs off, I begin to break dance my way out of the, uh, the rail. <laughs> yeah. So, so Dendora, I just sent you a DM. I'll get with you after session and i'll tell you how to input that okay oh yeah um for the yeah we can create a macro yeah oh yeah i got that actually yeah i stole this from uh i stole this from the website yeah i forgot that i, I forgot that i had the macro <laughs> but yeah okay cool well so. it was cooler doing piece by piece so fuck it <laughs> good job there we go. all right so that one missed Let's see what this one can see or see anybody Hold on. Wait a second. Yeah, it's confusion. Yeah, you talking about the 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 bot to the north? Yeah, he can see me. And minus five to see you. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's true. He has to make a vision roll of minus five. To see him? Yep. Well, fun. Because we are definitely searching for targets. And again, it's regular vision and infravision. So if they have sonar or something, then it's a different story. You've been found out. Todd Copper. Yeah, well, you did go to, yeah. We rolled a seven when he did a nine, so. Still minus five to be hit. Oh, we're, we're getting there. Yeah, that's a keyhole shot of anything. <laughs> so minus seven plus minus five, so that's minus twelve right there. Yeah. And you're you're crouched. Yep. And he did not aim last round, so. No, he did not. But there's still room for a critical. Please no, because I just finished getting all my stuff set up for my shot. <laughs> I saw two ones and they popped up a four. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, mm, oh, that that that, that was that, very very scary for that, you. That that make the that that will make the butthole pucker up. Yeah, he parted your hair on the left side. Um, I'm, you know, I'm just really not overly concerned with this robot anymore. Um, okay. So I think I'm gonna. His rifle is pretty close to me, right? Like over in this. Where? Oh yeah, it's yeah right there. I mean, by maybe you know a yard for, a yard past it because it moved a yard to get to you. Okay. Um, I don't know where. So it would be like yeah there. If I wanted to... And it, it can't really effectively kick you or strike at you as yeah, it's on the ground. It's got one leg. It's very differently able to respond. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> I've had worse. Uh, so um, could I run forward what? slightly? And I don't necessarily want to like... Um, I want to just try and use my throwing skill and like slap the rifle over in this direction of the bubble. Um... So just kind of get it closer to them. 
Okay. Well, that's going to be odd, but okay. I'm thinking, like, I wouldn't want to try to do that. Full? Are my hands still... Oh, yeah, they are. I'd have to... No, but you could use your foot. <laughs> I could kick it. After yeah. all, someone else just used their foot. Oh, I've got a... I have quick feet for my broadsword, so... Okay. You could try a fast draw roll to do that. Um... Yeah, I'll try and, uh... Yeah, I want to try... Quick sheath my broadsword, take a step forward, um scoop and toss the rifle with the throwing skill and then okay. backflip uh into a better cover position behind this uh behind okay. this like wall yeah so all right well um can I try all that yeah um of course the the rifle's got some bulk i can't remember what that is off the top of my head so i will Myers eight uh, it's actually big it's, it it's seems, not yeah, so big it's minus it. six Oh, okay. Only minus six. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Okay. So, um... So, I'm guessing a fast draw roll to see if I can sheath the sword. Sheath the sword. Okay. Done. Uh, take a step forward. Um, step forward. I'm going to throwing roll. Do you mm -hmm. want me to apply a bulk penalty? Uh... Well, it's not like you're trying to disarm anybody or something like that. Um, yeah. And I am... Well, um, and he's... I'll say, I and... Oh, the, go ahead, Chris. We're well, back. I'll say, the, the bulk penalty only applies to to a throwing attack, or to, to a ranged attack, so... Okay. So, just a minus three. Okay. Because it's... Um, well, shit. It's about... No. Scratch that. Um... I know. Yeah, it'd be a minus three penalty to get it, and um, all I'm aiming for is like somewhere roughly in the area of the spear. I don't know if um, you'd let me claim the plus four for targeting a square instead of target or uh, well, hexagon. Trying to do, do, yeah, trying to do the math in my head. I'm trying to remember how far. Oh, the, I got it right here. Like, gee, you always dummy Scott. A G on the screen. Uh, do, do, do. Do size, speech range modifier. Okay, so it's at least two feet long. Yeah, it's only a minus three to hit it. Okay. Yeah, so, yeah, because it's, it's at least 24 inches long, maybe longer. So. Okay, so, uh, throwing so, roll minus three. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, minus, minus three for throwing it. And yep. yeah, you can target the hex if you want just to get it with, within range. Yep, okay. I'm not trying. Lot, Be so because you be would have a minus something five to target anybody in there. Yeah, because of, no, oh, yeah. Just, yeah, I'm just aiming for the square, so that'll give me yeah. a plus four. So if we end with a total of plus one. Oh, we'll see, what do you know? Pretty solid. So um, you've got a uh, you've got the rail rifle landing somewhere in there for you, and then mm -hmm. uh, do you want me to make like a backflip roll or anything, or an acrobatic roll to change? Yeah. The, rapid direction change or whatever. Please do, because yep. you could fuck it up. That's fair. I could fall on top of the robot. Yeah, and that could be, uh, well, odd. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I saw the two fives, and I was like, oh, fuck, I was just kidding. Woo! Really <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh. Okay, yeah. It would have been hysterical if that was the maneuver that killed you. That would have been really funny, actually, yeah, for sure. Yeah, because then it tries to do a leg lock with its last remaining leg. Yeah, that would be... That would be crazy. But yeah, I would, uh, um, basically do the same thing, kind of okay. do a little bit behind there, and uh, yep, that's my turn. All right, after all that. All right. Okay. So, the coolness of this is all going to depend on pretty much your defensive role. Of course. And what are we shooting at? Where are you going? The north, north, the north one. Yep. All right. Two possible hits. Oh, that's awesome! The calculate pot. Is that a base part of uh, the? It is. No. It is. Oh, it is. I haven't. I haven't used this for. Oh yet, shit. So. That's awesome. Well, you pinged it twice. All right. <laughs> In the neck. Uh, wait yeah. I didn't see the neck called. Oh, that's awesome. So there's one. All right. 
And there's the second one. Okay. First round, ricochets off the neck. Oh, so bitch. Second round, on the other hand, did not. Gonna need to pack some AP rounds in here. Okay. You Although we're you guys just arc. You guys just all out defense and Harvey and I'll just keep crushing. Yeah, <laughs> you know. I'm not opposed to that. Yeah, I'll say you know, I, I went for uh, I went for the jugular, hoping that hoping that area might have been a little weaker. Pick up a so whenever I throw the right, I mean I'm sure it made a lot of noise and stuff like. Oh that, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. I I, that might be your best bet. Yeah, I won't be able to grab that until next round, but Fair. I'll I'll yeah. keep that in mind next round uh, or next game. Yeah. And then Duro's uh, over there making it look easy. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, that that was not a bad shot. No, it was a really a, good shot. A great shot. shot. And David drills is just the, the armor size and size. That's what that times 10 armor. Uh, <laughs> armor thing does. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's something to be said about monowire. All right. I mean, why do you think I took my primary damage as uh, TK Crush? That malediction David. just... Fuck Harvey. I don't care. Yeah. Speaking of Harvey, you're next. Um, yeah, I'll be doing another pop out attack. Um, crushing uh, TK Crush against the guy to the south. All right. Bloop. Oh, wait, you can't see him. Um, oh, wait. He moved? Yeah, he could move one while he was aiming. Oh, he moved. Oh. I can't can't see either one of y'all. Oh, out. so I guess I take I guess I take a step. Can't see him. He might try a um, action maybe. Take, he now he shows up. Like if I didn't move, I would have seen him. Just take a step south. Yeah, take get close, one, yeah, get close to a, the bushes. Yeah, you got a one yard step. Uh, south, take a one yard step south, right here. I was gonna say because I, <laughs> I have line of sight on him. So if you get stand in front of me, you'll. Walk. There's like a gap in the terrain. Yeah, I'm I'm yeah. Jo- I'm I'm absolutely 100 percent joking about this, but hey, you know, just telekinetic, just just telekinetically make me swap weapons. Um, <laughs> if if the rifle hadn't been thrown at you, I was thinking of TK grabbing it and dragging it to you. Oh, okay, cool. Um, where is the rifle? Is it is it here? It's like somewhere. It's, in the it's like right in here. There somewhere, you know. Close enough that I mean, he hit the target square, which was where you guys were at. So it's just a matter of picking it up. Yeah. Okay. Um, is is my TK crush gonna stand, or did, did, did I not see him? No, no, I'll, I'll let it stand. Do you okay. see him? Well, he does I after he moves. Where I am now. Yeah. Crush him like an ant with my fingers. Your head. And Scott, okay. thank you, thank you for the extra round of combat, so that I didn't have to remember all the freaking calculations I just finished doing. Yeah, that's okay. We got it. <laughs> We've got it. All right, Harvey. Yeah, and Carter is next. Carter's gonna do something interesting. I am gonna try to teleport the guts out of this guy. He's three minus three away, and uh, you said he has no will, so he'll get no resistance from there. But he has no vitals. Mm-hmm. And uh, the damage, which is impaling, so wow, uh, four points. I got I show two. That's it's impaling. Yeah, I understand. It's got a minus two from. Depending on the injury tolerance. Of well, the no, robots, they may or may not have. He had damage from. Well, no, no, he had he had some kind of weird penalty on his roll. Yeah. It's three D it's three D minus six. Yep. So this is a two, but what mm-hmm. you, the damage is impaled, so Yeah, I understand. Versus right. unli yeah, it doesn't uh, there's a uh only a times one modifier for unliving. Yep. Right. Which is okay. so you get two. Alright. And you better be happy with it. 
<laughs> no, I'm cool. The, I don't. Uh, the the lack of uh, a will resistance is worth it to me for sure. That's pretty nice, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Go ahead. Oh, gotta hit the button. <laughs> No, not that. No, I was I was saying go ahead to the uh, the one legged robot that was. Uh, All right. Harvey and Carter over here just like slowly ripping them to pieces from the inside. Oh wait, he's yeah, still Harvey, he's Harvey's, Harvey's he's 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 doing his measurement down to me. Harvey's pushing their guts together and I'm pushing them out. Ripping oh, apart. I'm not sure what the yeah, master's aiming like at. Absolutely terrible massage. <laughs> <laughs> what? We'll see. Deep tissue. Deep Harvey tissue. And, Harvey and Carter, the absolute worst massage duo this side of Casey. What is? What is? Oh. Oh. I bet it descended too while I was doing that. Am I correct, Scott? Yeah, and uh, apparently I accidentally. Um, skip to another one so that one I can't see but but the other one they yeah, all sitting here going what the hell is he doing and and then I saw it start to move I was like oh shit Um, but since we're into the game in the middle of combat, uh, Scott, uh, I don't know if you run with the same rules that I do, but if we're in the middle of combat, then, you know, you don't spend character points. Yeah, that would, what was, that was gonna be, I, I totally brain farted that, so. Okay. Oh. Alright, so guys, um, obviously the, you heard the, uh, little, little ramjet, uh, engines uh, on the, on these angles. And they just powered off. Uh, one of them directly in front of the group, and another one just outside the overhang for um, the blah blah. You know, <laughs> the okay. uh, library. And we are at Good. end of the round. They're within range of our custom uh, building friends, so this is perfect. Good, maybe. Good game. Yeah, that was really fun. Okay. Very good. Yeah, we're almost almost done with that. Yeah, getting past the first uh, the you know, the guards, if you will. And then of course you got to find uh, Zion because this is just the gates. Sweet. Thanks for running. This was awesome. Yeah, I'm I'm glad you really, like it. So, we're but really polishing up our stuff here. Uh, give me just a second, guys. Uh, those of y'all that are here in Discord with me, I want to speak with chat real quick just so y'all can hear what I'm saying. Um, Chat, this has been a fantastic game session. Thank you very much for the 10 likes. Oh, my goodness. And we got seven people watching now. <laughs> um, but 10 likes, it's awesome. Uh, we've had, we're have we having a, a pretty epic combat going on right now. Um, and, and like I've explained before in the past, you know, a lot of this is all done in the realm of imagination. You know, and, uh, you know, I say realm of imagination. My son... Uh, wanted to, you know, he, he wanted to play because I, you know, to explain it to the four year old, I told him that, you know, we're, you know, we're playing pretend. And he went, I can play pretend. Yes, you can, but you can't do math. That's what a GM is for. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm the big pretender. But um, this has been fantastic. I mean, Scott, you, you you always set up some of the best maps, best environments. I mean, I yeah, you know, and I, I realize you're not supposed to do this as a GM, but you know, I often compare some of my setups and some of my gaming stuff to the the GMing stuff I do over on the Dungeon Japan stuff. I often compare it to to the stuff that you managed to prep for for these games and. Then I have to remind myself that uh, you and I have different amounts of time available. 
Yeah, I, I screw off there in the middle of the day. <laughs> when, I'm, uh, when I'm not doing something for work, I'm doing something for game. Yeah, I mean, when when, when you message me in the middle of day game in the middle of day, going, "Hey, I created this thing," going, "Dude, I, I'm I'm in fucking meetings." <laughs> yeah, well, I am too. I've, I've been getting slammed lately, though. So, yeah, that's why I prep was behind. Behind. But um. Uh, so chat, those of you that have been, uh, sticking around for the whole game session, thank you for being here. Uh, and, uh, of course, Pi, I hope this, uh, gave you some insight to our, uh, to, to our futuristic GURPS games so that you can, uh, make a character and join us. We're looking, lo- looking really forward to having you join us. Because yeah, if uh, these guys keep playing leather playing, they might execute one themselves. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's uh but um yeah no this has been absolutely amazing scott again great game uh however i'm not gonna wrap up the uh stream until uh we find out if we got character points yeah uh character points for this session will be three um i'll make sure i post it on the uh, scabbard uh um log also so there's that and then, uh, of course, we also need to work with um, uh, <laughs> Pi. Uh, Pi. Yeah, we'll work with Pi, but also um, also work with uh, some of the guys on um, uh, getting their backstories and stuff posted on Scabbard so they can get those other points that they need. I think that I succeeded my electronic operation role with computer use because uh, I figured out how to <laughs> click on the campaign and do it in there. I, I think I have my bio posted. Yeah. Uh, yep. I think I'm going to finally have to bite the bullet and sit down and actually write a backstory for Ignatio because... Uh, okay, so yeah, I've got Ogre Turf in here as a player. So there's that. I've got Cattell, player, address... Um, I don't have uh, Jane or so, or it might be the same person. I don't know. Um, so so screw my me. scabbard. My scabbard name is Calstar. Calstar, right? Did I give you? I, I can't remember if I assigned you a character or not. I thought you did. Uh, I see. Yeah, you on the PC. Yep, it's there. Harvey. It's there. Yeah, you're there. Yep, yep. Okay. So yeah. Um, at this point, all you need to do is, uh, since you have an account, is be able to uh, you know, open your character up, click on the edit button, and go for, go for broke. So, um, between now and the next game session, though, Scott, uh, and I realize we're in the middle of combat, but I'd like to get with you because of adventures. Um, I want to get the inventory cleaned up and get the stuff onto the trucks of everything we picked up because... The, I'm noticing lots of stuff that I know that we had and uh, that we got, and it's not showing up on any of our inventory. And then right. I've got yeah. weird stuff in my inventory. So I'd, I'd like to go with you and just kind of do an inventory cleanup. Yeah, sure. We can do a, a uh, layout and make sure you've got stuff you're supposed to have. That's what you do when you take everything out of the tank and count everything. Uh, yep. Layout. Because <laughs> there's like fonts and boxes galore stuff but tankers are pack rats by the way so um but uh, and, and again to the to the group uh Dendura, you weren't here when i made this comment earlier this evening but um uh, i am really enjoying role playing with this group uh because yeah. i feel like everybody is getting their 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 moment everybody's and nobody's really stepping on top of each other I mean, yeah we've got our few occasions where that happens yeah. and that's that's going to happen i mean that's it's that that's unavoidable but we're doing a really good job of not making the gm force us to share the spotlight we're doing a good job of sharing the spotlight amongst yeah. ourselves as players yeah um, that's something i noticed too guys y'all are it's day and night uh, compared to some of the groups I've worked with before, and uh, I appreciate that. Uh, yeah, y'all are passing the torch around as need as need be. So yeah, great job um, planning your uh, uh, your your move, your attack, and everything. Your your turn uh, beforehand, and then maybe have it just to make minor tweaks um, to it once you, you know, once it is your turn. So that's great stuff. Good on you guys. 
Um, definitely. I also, uh, I also think we're awesome, so that's good. Okay. Yeah, well, well, I, I, on the other hand, know no. deep in my soul that we are awesome. There you go. <laughs> hey, I think I think crossing uh, cross training on languages is a great idea, and yeah. I uh, uh, I may want Ignacio to start teaching me a gun. Okay. Yeah. Well, and that's what I was saying. I I just want to spend one point on the language so that I can pick it up at broken. Yeah. Um, but at least at broken, we can communicate. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. <laughs> um, hey, we can't communicate well, but we can communicate. But if everybody has broken of all of our different languages, well, then you know I, and I've seen this in my even in my workplace where I have to deal with many people that speak many different languages. You you pick up bits and pieces of the various languages, and you're able to communicate. Yeah, sure. Sure. Yeah. We're just get some babble things. Um, now, and I'm not gonna throw mine in there only because I can tell y'all exactly what mine is. Because my character only has one language. He has Texican. That's it. Yes, you better get um, up books and learn, it's, huh? It's 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 close enough to Spanish that I can kind of say things to you. Right. And same thing is close enough to English that you can say things to me. Yeah, I mean, I do have English, so yeah, Texican probably has oh, some English words in it too. Oh yeah, it's it's a mishmash of both of them. So yeah, yeah. Um, honestly, it's it's like when I go visit uh, uh, my uh, wife's family. You know, they bounce back and forth between English and Spanish, and you know, and of course I'm I've got Rosetta Stone, so I'm I'm picking it up. Well, and, and not to boost these guys up even more than we already have, but uh, yeah, I can be able I, to fit into the game session next time. Yeah, I, I have to, I have to echo what Scott said here. You know, you, you guys, you, you three are absolutely a breath of fresh air, and oh, yeah, because you know, even prior to us actually streaming the tabletop games, um. Scott and I, we, we've gone through... Um... There's been a rotation. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I've, been, I've been there. I, I think the funny thing here is I think we're all forever DMs, right? So we've all run the groups, and I think we all know yeah. how to be good players. There, yeah, we've, yeah, we've had some players that definitely make my hair hurt. So yeah, but the fun part is, is that because we're all GMs, mm -hmm. it's why it works. Yeah, I think honestly, everybody's knowledge of the system uh, speeds gameplay, especially when we're talking about ranged weapons, you know, rate of fires and stuff like that. So well, yeah, and, and I've had fun with that where everybody everybody remembers different things from the books. So you know, I had my spots where I was like, go, yeah, no, no, the rules say this. And then, you know, then Dora was able to bring up his rule points that he knew out of the book. And Jane was able to pull up his stuff. And so you can even tell that from our different GMing styles, we had specific areas of books that we actually focused and knew a little bit better. Uh, like, like the severing limbs rules. Uh, that, that's the easy one for me to bring up. Only because, well... In Dungeon Fantasy, I have a tendency to sever limbs. It's a good combat tactic, yeah. You're, you're, uh, you're very good at the that. damper on the fight. I mean, severing level, sever, severing limbs is for style points. You really just need to cripple them. Crippling limbs is an amazing combat tactic because it's so much easier than killing a target just to cripple their limbs, and then they can't get you. Yeah, but right. but it's but it's easier to heal a crippled limb than it is to heal a severed one. That's true. If you're, oh, yeah. if you're playing stuff yeah. like healing magic, yeah, you gotta take that into account. No, I, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I really enjoyed it. I felt like, uh, had a good time with our first, uh, sort of high-tech enemies and stuff. The mono katana is definitely, I'm appreciating the armor divisor, so. 
<laughs> yeah. They've got yeah, one. Yeah, it's freaking scary. Two or three DR against you instead of 20 or 30 DR, whatever they have. Yeah, and, like yeah. something like that. And I find it interesting that, you know, even though Scott and I are both running games on Thursdays, that we're now to where we got the, the only people that are in common in our groups, I think. Uh, I, may, I might be wrong with this, but I think it might just be me and Scott. I think so. Um, but you know, I'm in, you, both games at, I'm in both games at this point. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, oh, yeah. That's right. That's right. That's right. Because you, uh, you, you had a you had a situation last week. No. Um. I play. I was playing the uh, Mage Thief. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. I just didn't make it. Uh, but yeah, I, uh, here uh, I'm posting the the uh, scabbard page for the uh, list of uh, books I'm using for the game. So. Uh, yeah, we're using martial arts, so you're good to go there. So. Yep, and I'll be on next week. So I know I've only excellent attended uh, one, but uh, awesome. Yeah, we'll, we'll get my archer ramped up. Yeah, yeah. Look forward to it because, uh, boy, yeah. we got we got a storyline running. Unfortunately, the, the the other person I was going to run the storyline with, uh, she she wound up with COVID. Uh, <laughs> down with the sickness. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I, 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 role player. She actually, I, actually I, got into her character. Yeah, right? yeah. yeah I, I think. Yeah, I think she'll be back because she'll she'll want the, the interaction. Well, I'm I'm seriously considering actually throwing in like a side quest for you guys to go do while we wait for her to get healthy. Well, that could be that. Yeah, I can do that. I have to drop, gentlemen. It's been a pleasure. All right, guys. Yeah, so, it's getting yep. late. Yep. See you next week. All right, All right guys. Maybe. I'll take it easy. Thank you. Bye bye. Chat. Right. Y'all have a great night. This has been a great game session. I mean, Scott, again. You know, I try. Dude. Hey, you, you, you always run an amazing game session. I try. Uh, I, I'm, I'm always impressed by how you got everything designed. You, you've laid things out. You got it all set up. And, yeah. and then, uh, and then of course, we got Pi, who, uh, you know, we've got to get together with to help him build a mutant of whatever no. of whatever it is that he wants to build mm -hmm. it would be cool if Pi had somebody that was kind of a technician or had some sort of uh, machine telepathy oh because if we bring him in um at at this scene or the next scene, then it would make sense. Absolutely. Otherwise, otherwise he's just, uh, you know, and he could be anything. He could, honestly, he could be a mutated rat, a wire rat. <laughs> well, I'll say, Pi, I'll say, Pi, if you want to jump into voice for a second. So, I mean, that would be cool. It, it, it'd be one a really easy way to jump in with... Uh, pre-made backstory you won't have to worry too much about it uh, the other thing I'd say you know or just you happen to be captive of um, Archangel and you get released or get found you're digging around underneath uh, the library in the basement or something like that uh, you know there's a number yep. of things so he could be a bookworm collector yeah, that's what I was saying. You know, if Pi wants to join the voice right now, he's he's welcome to. But uh, we are working on wrapping up the stream, so. Uh, yeah. So well, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the stream. I'm just letting Pi know that he's welcome to join us in, okay. in uh, yeah, voice. I'm gonna stay on, stay on till eleven, but after that, I gotta. So. Shut down the Death Star and go to sleepies. All right, Chet. I'm gonna go ahead and end the stream here. Thank you, everybody, for being here. And uh wow, ten likes. That that is awesome. Yeah. And thank you over for overtime. Oh uh, extra, extra extra innings. Yep, 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 absolutely.
Thank you.